Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Okay, let's get started. Um, so I have a couple of profiles. Uh, I'm pretty sure Alpha and probably Bravo are both completely... Everything from pre-advanced edition is unlocked. Uh, and I had this, uh, this profile from when I streamed the game just a little bit ages ago where we were starting from scratch. I'm not sure... Not sure what I should go with. I think maybe... Maybe we'll make a new profile. Tutorial tri uh, tips? I haven't played this in forever, and maybe it'll be good for people unfamiliar, so let's do that. Why not? New game. Humanity destroyed. Rip humanity. Mission failed. Time Traveler, Ralph Garrison. Ooh, should we do a... Uh... Should we do naming the time travelers? Let's do that. Pardon me. Where's the viewer rewards? Here we go. Um. Pop out. Fantastic. Whoops. Isla Talks, thank you very much for the sub. 13 months, wow. Thank you very much, much appreciated. Love this game so much? Yeah, me too. It's good. Um, alright, so before we start, I want to go... where is it? Dashboard... Uh, rewards... Let's just reactivate name upon... I'll just rename it for today. Uh, pilot. Name a pilot. Fantastic. All right. Um, I don't think we have any options other than the basic mechs, right? If we're just starting. Yeah. We can't even have, like, two of something or anything like that. Let's just... Wait, what about the difficulty settings? Uh, options? Let's go with... Game Timer UI. Oh, hell yeah, sure. Larger fonts... I don't see why not. Difficulty? Where is difficulty? Um, I don't see it anywhere. Do we have to unlock the difficulty? Whatever, let's get started. Oh, there it is. All right, then. Advanced content. Yes, all of it, please. And I'll start with hard. I'm used to hard. Unfair, we'll maybe get into a bit later. Choose difficulty at the beginning, yeah. Alright, so... This museum island recreates old Earth as it was before the oceans rose and nearly wiped out humanity. That's a bit too real. Alright. Um, I don't need the combat simulation... Just give me the tutorial tips in case. 
So this is our power grid. I think this is like our campaign hit points. Any damage it takes in missions will persist. The vet caused damage before you arrived, so there's opportunities to restore it. Uh, every mission has different potential rewards. Yes, I remember this much. And some missions are high risk as well. Alright. We can always come back here, so we'll probably start with this one. Bad repairs. I don't know what that is. Use three repair platforms, kill at least seven enemies. Okay, there's a chance we'll fail the second one. Um, if we beat this mission first and get rewards and power up and stuff, uh, it might be easier to get a perfect on this one. So let's start with the library. I know what I know how tidal waves work from before as well. Knock mites off the mechs. I don't know how that works. Protect the coal plant, we want to try to do that anyway, so this is this is probably going to be by far the easiest start. Knock mites off the mechs. Don't know how that works. What is this? A bouncer. I've seen the blast scion and the scorpion before, of course. Um, I think we'll start... How far can you move? Pretty far. He can't actually attack until the start of my next turn, if I remember right. And I'll probably start the tank here, so that we can go one, two, three, and have a line up this way, potentially. But if the... if the scorpion goes here... Oh, that'll be fine, actually. We'll just fire with the tank first. And we'll start the artillery back here. Hey, Evil Plur. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What did the pilot just say? I see we have mites on all of our mechs. Emerging enemies. They'll pop up here next turn. You can block them. Um, and whatever, whatever unit does block them will take one damage. This mech is covered in Vec Mites. Your bonus objective is to knock them off the mech. Damage, fire, freeze, repair, or acid. Okay. So, almost anything, including just repairing it, will get them off. Do they deal damage over time or something? This enemy scion provides a passive bonus to all other Vec. Killing it removes the bonus. Yeah, uh, they'll explode when they die. Hold left control while hovering over the scion to investigate its ability. Okay. I'm glad I put the... I'm glad I put the tips on, actually. I forgot a couple of things here. Is this XCOM-like? Uh, yes and no. Um, the All of the RNG in this game is just stuff like... What enemies will we be facing next turn? And what missions do we have to pick from? And stuff like this. Um, during the actual turn, there's no RNG at all. So, what are these mites? Does it... Here we go. Do they actually do anything, or do we just get a bonus for removing them? Looks like we've still got our full movement. Okay. Well, first of all, webbed mech. Yes, I know. Webbed mechs cannot move, but they can still attack. Uh, I don't have to do anything with this guy. He's just going to die next turn. The waves are going to come in, and... It's going to be dealt with. So, what does the bouncer do? Damage the target, then bounce backwards. Oh, okay. Alright. We're going to start with this. He'll be dead next turn when 
Avec tries to emerge here. So he's already done ski. Uh, he'll be dead next turn from fire. And next I just want to spend this action uh, probably over here actually. And then... So movement and attacking or repairing or something are separate. You get... They don't... They happen in parallel. You don't have to pay like movement to fire or fire to move or anything like that. Hey, Veldak. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Name a pilot. Uh, which one are we naming for you? The... Oh, I guess... I mean, it's kind of goes without saying we're going to start with, like, the special pilots, right? Um, can I actually do it mid-game, or does it have to be at the start? Alright, end turn. And up we go. And blocked enemy. Fantastic. Uh, blocking an enemy so it doesn't come up will actually prevent you from getting like seven kills, for example. Not that we're worried about it this turn. Um, the artillery mech. How does this guy work? Alpha Mosquito flying. Smoke the target, preparing to whip it. Damage 3. That's kind of nasty. Uh, what's even nastier? Oh, what order do they go in? Attacking order, here we go. Okay, so Alpha Mosquito is going to attack before Scorpion. Alpha Mosquito does 3 damage. We have 2 tools. Uh, to knock the Alpha Mosquito over a little bit. And... I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock him over here. So he's gonna kill this for us. Uh, and then one, two, three damage. He's gonna die when this comes up. Can I also squeeze in a way to get rid of the uh, the mites? I don't think so. Oh, I think I see the solution here. Alright. So, first of all... Actually, I'll do this first. I think... If I move this here and then punch, and then hit this spot, this guy got pushed back. That's a little bit bad, but it's probably fine. And then this guy won't be able to do anything this turn. That's useful. Alternatively... I'd love to find a way to shoot my own mech with the artillery while also pushing this guy back, but we won't also be able to punch this. So I guess we just have to hope we can remove the mites on... Is it the final turn next turn? Or is it like we have two more turns after this? Oh, and we don't actually... We don't actually kill this right now. Mm, that doesn't go as well as I hoped. We could reset turn. We can do it once per battle, but um, I don't really think we can do better than this. I don't want to shoot this because um, he's just going to get killed by this guy. If I could move this guy here, I would shoot to deal one damage to each of these guys, or two to this guy, one to this guy, but... Yeah, no. That's, uh... We're just gonna... 
end turn. Fantastic. Please move here. Yes. Nice. Um, okay. We can ignore him. We have to kill this. He's going to die. And we could actually just ignore both of these. Let me just check how this guy works. Mosquito? So he's just a smaller version of Alpha Mosquito. Yeah, so this... The tank could just tank these hits and we don't have to worry. Um, this guy's gonna die before he attacks because the environment effect comes first. Which means all we really need to do is kill this and we need to get rid of the mites, which this is gonna be enough to do all of that. Um, that said, we could perhaps... I can move this guy, right? Yeah, we could kill both of these. I don't think we get anything for it this time. Oh, we get XP. Yeah, so until we get everyone leveled up, that does actually matter. Pushing things into other things deals one more damage. Yes, indeed. Alistair Aeternum. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Glad the rest of your stream went uh, relatively well. I saw that. Alright, so we got a perfect on that one. And we got plus one grid by protecting the coal plant. So far, so good. Uh, I don't think we leveled anyone up or anything. So the next stage isn't going to be any easier than if I'd done it first. Uh, here we go. Beldak. Fantastic. Oh, do you want to name the mech as well? I'm going to say that if you... No, I'll, I'll make it a separate war reward real quick. Maybe make it a bit cheaper. Actually, okay, Veldak, you can name the mech also. Uh, this time, and I'm gonna make it so naming a pilot is like what? 2k? And naming a mech as well can be about the same. Because it's not gonna be that long of a run compared to like Rimworld or Oni or something. There we go. Name a pilot, name a mech. Okay. <laughs> what are we naming it? As long as it's within reason, that should go without saying. Southern, BG Nyman, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Spidertron. Is this not the Spidertron? Uh, Glacier Wolf, good to see you again also. Welcome, welcome. BG Neiman, name a pilot. Alright, it'll have to be a mook that we're probably gonna swap out relatively soon if we do it now. And Evil Pla as well. Have to get rid of that 300k Cox. <laughs> oh no. 300k? Wow. I really should add something big, like a uh, custom intro or something like that. Alright, so here, this time we need to use repair... repair platforms. Warning bad repairs. Kill at least seven enemies. This is going to be really hard to get a perfect on. Seven kills this early, I expect. Your engineers aren't used to your technology and may have damaged more than they fixed. You'll need to use repair platforms in this region to keep your mechs together. Your mechs start 
this mission with only one health. Okay. And use three repair platforms. All right. That might not be that hard. So it looks like we just have to walk over this to get health. Attack order one, two, three. I don't think that's going to be too relevant yet. Can the... Can the VEC walk over the repair platforms? Because if they can't, this guy pretty much has to go here. Unless he goes for one of the mechs, which would be fine, I think. And maybe this guy here. Artillery, we definitely want at the back. Subhan, name a mech also. The make me play that game I hate? Wait, what? Uh, can we name a mech right now? I don't think so. Oh, time pod. We have to... Okay, the Vec won't step on this, which is a small mercy. It, cannot, it can sometimes be very useful, actually. But we also need to get a mech to stand on it before the match is over. Oh. Oh, no. Um... Not only can the Vex stand on these, but they can use them. That is not helpful. Um, if, if I had extra health here... Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't do it, actually. We can't fire in the smoke. But if there was no smoke and we had more health, I would definitely shoot this into here for starters. Um, I can definitely punch this away. It'll block the next Vec. That's not good for making sure we get seven kills, but I might have to. Um... Hmm... If I shoot this, mech gets bumped over here and repaired. Then I can move it here and it gets repaired. Then we've used two of three repair platforms already. We'll also block... Well, no, we won't block because I'm shooting this directly. Um... So shoot this, move here, punch this. Unfortunately, that repair pad is gone. We've used two of three already. I can move this guy here. That won't accomplish too much. Um, I could move him here, shoot him here, and... No, wait, we still need to deal with this guy. Shoot this. Move here, punch this. We can only move three tiles. I can't get him off of that. If I shoot this, we lose three repair pads. And then we can't get the bonus because there's only... Oh, wait, there's this one, this one, and this one. Theoretically, we could still get the bonus. Um... Well, we'll definitely get one of them. Oh, I can move this guy first. I think I see the path. We shoot this, but not before moving this guy here. Oh, it fully repairs them. Nice. So it doesn't commit. You can undo all the moves until you fire. Um, we're going to do this. And then we're going to shoot this guy off of here. And then this guy can move here and can one-shot the uh, Alpha Scorpion into the water. We'll have used two repair platforms. Um, there will be... Wait, what am I doing? I could shoot this first. Would that be better? Probably, because we'll have more health. Yeah. Shoot. Shoot this. Shoot this. 
punch this into the water. We've used two of three repair packs. There's two of them left over here. The Vec are unlikely to step on it. This guy misses. I think that's the way. What's all this now? This is Into the Breach, Advanced Edition. Ben Wu, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, Alright, let's get started then. Did I do that in the wrong order? It's probably fine. It's unlikely to make a difference. It may make a difference. I don't think it's worth a reset, necessarily. So we just need to touch one of these repair packs. We need to touch this. And we need to kill six more things. Yikes. Okay, this looks uncomfortable. Doing fine. Fantastic. Just careful, man. You're very close to playing a game with the third dimension of movement here. Wait, what? I play games with a third dimension of movement. This is bad. This is bad. This is not that bad, honestly. What, what's the most that we can accomplish with artillery? How am I going to get over here? I can't this turn, can I? One, two, three. I could if this was removed. Um, I can just punch this to get rid of it. Oh, what's the order? Hmm. Factorio Terraria Oni. I've played Rocket League on stream, like, once or twice. All I've seen you stream are 2D. Fair enough. Um... What about time as a third dimension? We can travel through time. Didn't see Rocket League? Yeah, I only did it maybe... Well, okay. This game and Rocket League I played long ago on stream when I was a tiny streaming baby. Um, but lately I played just a tiny bit of Rocket League for a change. This is actually already a pretty tricky turn. I don't know if we can get a perfect outcome here. Don't provoke him, or T-Hex will start playing Me Mega Cure? Uh-oh. Actually, didn't I stream uh, 5D chess with multiverse time travel once? If we want to include time as a dimension, then just increment all the dimension numbers. I stated by one. <laughs> okay. What am I going to do here? If this guy was going first, that would be pretty useful. I think we're still going to take damage. Well, okay, there's a 15% chance per attack we don't take damage. That's the only, like, moment-to-moment -moment RNG in this game. And it's in your favor. Um, I can go this far? Oh, this could be good. Oh, this could be very good. Okay, so we go here. Shoot our artillery here, push this guy into the smoke, he can't attack. Push this guy to here, he'll attack, well, in this direction. Yeah, he'll definitely hit that. Um, but then, is this going to hit the building? I still haven't seen exactly how this works. Does it have to be at point blank? I think it has to be at point blank, it, it doesn't charge. Hey, Sigma Bean. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 5D, okay. Don't think I won't play five-dimensional chess on stream. I'm crazy. I'll do it. Me Mega Cure has four spatial dimensions. Uh-oh. Um, so we probably just punch this to kill it. We probably do this before moving the cannon mech. 
This is more important than any of our bonus objectives. Getting the time pod. Sigma Bean, thank you very much for the resub. Much appreciated. Five months, wow. Well. September discount poggers, indeed. Very, very much appreciated. Thank you. Alright, I'm 90% sure this is our first move, and I'm prepared to burn a reset on this turn if I mess it up. So this guy is going to block this and attack this. I could kill both of these effectively by hitting here. We will block one, but that's probably okay. And then... And then I wouldn't be able to stop this from dealing damage, so no, we're not doing that. Um, I would like to get the time pod this turn. But I don't necessarily think it's that important. I could set up both of these to be dead by doing this. That is a much more efficient use of our time right now. Uh, it just makes it a little harder to get the time pod and repair platform. But we've still got plenty of time. And now we just need to kill three more enemies. They're making it pretty awkward for us, though. I can't reach the time pod this turn, and that's terrible. Um, one, two, three. I wouldn't be able to reach it in two turns if with this guy if I put him here. Okay. Um, what we could do is gamble 15% chance that this doesn't take damage and use our reset to save scum if it doesn't. So then this would be dead and we'd be able to move here to get the time pod next turn. Um, we need to get the repair packs as well. Or just one of them. We also... Hmm. It's going to be really hard to get... I, I don't think we can get every bonus objective this time. Alright, we're going to try with the gambling. Oh, rewarded. Didn't even use, need to use the reset. Fantastic. And now we're going to kill... This guy can get the pod next turn. Um, I can never remember... If, if victory in two turns means we've got one turn now for this guy to grab this, or zero, basically. Because we probably can't get him to do both. Evil plant, that is. Uh, Veldak. I mean, yeah, we're going to have you just kill this outright. I'm pretty sure this is the best we can do, regardless. Alright. Can ignore that. Can't quite ignore that. Um, I can't quite reach... Okay. Oh, we're one off. Being able to use the artillery to move this guy. Um, I could punch him into this, but then he'll explode, destroying a building here. I could kill this and then punch that, but then we can't get the time pod or the repair platform. We only need to kill one more Vec. I don't think the artillery can do anything useful this turn, actually. Except maybe boost... Uh, movement boost one of our friends. Hmm. 
Unfortunately, with the diagonal, that won't make the difference between picking up one of these or not. Oh, I think I've... no. We're one off with the movement here. I could move this here, shoot this, punch that, and we could push him into getting this. We wouldn't get the time part, that'd be bad anyway. There's only one person who can get the time part, and it's by far the most uh, important thing. So I think Evil Plot is going here to get the pod. We could punch this and hope that nothing explodes, Th that the resistance kicks in. We've got two chances still with the reset. Uh, and then there's no way we could get the repair platforms as well. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think that's... I think that's it. Alright, we're gonna do the two chances for this gamble right here. Unfortunate. Back in time we go. And... Once more with feeling. Rip, 121 civilians. Oh well. We got everything except for the uh, three repair platforms. Which I probably could have pulled off maybe if I'd known that the Vec would step on them as well, but I don't know if it would have uh, made that much difference, to be honest. Victory in one. Does this mean... I'm, I'm pretty sure this means we can't get the repair pack now. Unless... Nope, that's it. It means we can't get a perfect for the whole island, which means a significant reward. But the time pod itself is like about the same or better. I can't remember. Explosive warp. Teleport to target and push nearby enemy tiles. Oh. Uh, nearby tiles away. That seems a little bit good. Up to four range. Science class weapon. So it's we're not going to have the power to put it on something else, probably. Alright, so we got plus one reactor power... I'm pretty sure once we commit to this, we can't pull it back. The explosive warp actually works with only one power. It, it would be free if this was a science class. Oh, we can test it. Nice. So we can jump two tiles with this. Uh... just by putting one power into it. So we can go two, four, six range with three power. That seems pretty good, honestly. The question is... I think we put it on the artillery mech. Uh, can I... there we go. Because sometimes the artillery mech gets, uh, stuck. And doesn't have a way to deal with it. So, to be clear, this does count as an attack. So it's gonna end our turn. I think we can attack and then move, though. 
No, attacking always ends the turn. I'm pretty sure. In this game. But yeah, I think we'll put it on the artillery. That's probably the way to go. Destroy the dam, end with less than four mech damage. That's pretty easy. We'll probably go for that. Defend the artillery support. Protect the power generator. That's just stuff that we want to do anyway. So both of these are going to be pretty easy. Um, we have to deal two damage to the dam. So I might do this just in case we'll have more power after this one. One, two, one, two, three. That seems good. Oh, that's really awkward. But I think we have a solution. No, this can only move one tile. Hmm. If I can give it a little boost... Um, it can then move itself from here to here, from 5B to 4B, and then destroy both of these in one shot. I don't think I care if my mech takes damage, but the building will take damage is the main thing. Oh, I could move this here and then artillery this spot, or jump to it. I can't jump to it, actually. We can only jump in cardinal directions with the teleport. Oh, and I forgot to... I think I forgot to do that. Yeah, sorry, Subhan, I forgot the naming while I still had the chance. We'll do it next... We'll do it after this mission. Okay. So this guy goes here. We shoot this spot. We kill both of these. We punch this. And... We don't get a bonus for killing more Vec, so... On the other hand, we're still looking for XP. So I think we will let both of these Vec come up next turn. And we'll probably be better off in the long run. I immediately regret my decision. It's fine. We'll probably be fine. So we're going to punch this. Uh, we're going to move this. And then... We're not going to be able to kill this outright. But we can deal a lot of damage to it. Come to think of it, I probably could have... Oh, I definitely could have done that better. Let's burn our reset. This goes here. This goes... here. This goes here. And... that's not quite right. Uh, this goes here. It's probably worth getting rid of the alpha and letting up a random back. Hey, El Pancho. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Nice, that's a that's much weaker. Is it gonna take damage? I wanna see I think it's gonna kill itself. The way this thing works. Yeah. Easy. Veldak, please punch. Neiman, please shoot. And evil pla sit on top of this. And 
and then we just punch this and we're done. Fantastic. Easy enough. Alright, first order of business is the mech name. Uh, for Subhen? Are we just naming a mech Subhen? Sit on top of this. Uh, we got the artillery mech or the cannon mech. Which one are we naming? I'm thinking the cannon mech. Oh no, we can't fit that much. Sit on top. Okay. Uh, we didn't get any new power or anything, so let's just move on. Uh, we have options now, though. I don't want to take an easy one, probably, because we'll miss out on... Reputation is kind of like money we can spend later. Uh, we would gain a power grid, but that's fine. Anything's fine, really? Okay. Oh, I thought I thought Subhen said sit on top. Whoops. But that's okay? Alright, cool. Defend the satellite launches. Um, those are relatively easy, I think. But with how early we are and our limited movement and stuff, that could actually be complicated. I'm pretty sure destroy the dam won't be difficult. Uh, especially because it tends to take out a VEC for us. Um, I want the artillery in this row to maximize its range of movement. Okay. Uh, that's bad. If I kill the dam now, we never have to worry about this guy. don't have a way... Hmm. I'd really like to punch this so that we lose the Vec passive. And then we'll be in a good position to punch the dam. And then we can just kill this one outright. Seems good. Alright. End with less than 4 mech damage. You can actually take 4 mech damage and then repair it back up if you uh, want to do it that way. Alright. Um, we need to free Valdak so we can punch this. Or, well, there is no ore. We can't deal two damage to the to the dam this turn without Valdak. So, question is, which way I want to do it? Whoops! I didn't know there was a console. This way, we damage this guy. Actually, move further back still, and then Evil Plot can go here. And then we can deal damage and set this thing on fire. It's effectively dead already. And away goes the dam. Perfect. And we have an enemy that can't threaten us. If we only get, um, do I want to get rid of that fire? I don't think so. If I repair here, the tile will no longer be on fire, but if anything, we probably do want to get rid of the fire. Because the only thing that can threaten this is ranged or flying vex. Um... 
We don't have to worry about a Vex standing here specifically. And this would be the easiest spot to bump them off of. Actually, I think that just made the argument to not bother... to not block this tile. Because I don't want the Vec to be here, if possible. We can kill this, block this. Um, I want... I want these two where they're most likely to be able to do something next turn. And we literally don't have to do anything. Okay. More XP for us. Fantastic. And repair that. Beautiful. New skill unlocked finisher. Gain boost and plus two move on the last turn. That's new. All right. Um, so is this just passive now? Is this just because Veldike is max level? Repair one hit point at the start of each turn. I don't remember this. What is boost? Well, whatever it is, Veldak is pretty strong now, actually. Uh, back in the old version, the only thing you got out of this guy was he leveled up faster. Does that mean the mooks can get Unknown skills? Oh, that makes it so much more interesting. I guess they're not mooks anymore. Destroy the blobber leader. That sounds spooky. We don't have any upgrades we can do right now. So what is this? Uh, can walk in water. Explosive decay. Blast... Oh, that's just the passive from the... the... Blast Scion. Eruptive Growths. Sticky Blob that will explode. Okay. Five hit points. Let's go. Let's start the... Cannon Mech over here. Okay, that's uh, a little bit rude. I wonder if that was added to Advanced Edition. I, I feel like I remember being able to press a key to see this stuff, though. Alright, if I do this, you're not going to die this turn because you're not going to be on the tile that's on fire. I, I'm pretty sure I want to do this. Punch this guy onto here, block it, take three damage in total. Um, we're gonna have to blow this up. Oh, it's got two health? Oh, wow. That makes this so much harder to deal with. Um, I can't... Okay, unless I push... Unless I push the blob in this direction, I can't protect the buildings unless I kill it outright. How much damage does it do? Only one, so it's not very useful for attacking the Vec. And unless I just shoot the Vec directly, I don't have... Like, I can't do this, it'll damage the building. Uh, 
I wish I'd taken the point where buildings are immune to damage from the artillery. Did the advanced part just show up? Yeah, we've had a we've had a few units that are from the advanced edition or right from the start, but this is um the two hit points on this is rather rather harsh. I haven't seen a single regular ranged vec. I think because the advanced edition enemies just have more types taking up the space. So... I could teleport back to this spot to push this this way. But then... Do I sacrifice a hit point of buildings? I can't... Uh, I can't use reset turn to save scum to try and get the 15% chance of no damage here. Because... It happens at the start, like between my turns. This is actually a, a difficult turn. If I move this guy out of the way so we can push this, that gets damaged, but then this is going to damage the building. If I... I I'm, I'm seriously considering punching my own guy, uh, shooting my own mech here, so that we can push this here and then punch this. I think that's the way, honestly. I'm very glad I put the explosive warp on the artillery mech. Alright, so the main boss is going to be down to one hit point after this, which is kind of glad, uh, kind of good that we didn't kill it this way, actually, because it would explode. Oh, hit point regeneration. I forgot about that. That is so strong. So is it every turn? Technician finisher. Uh, it doesn't say... He oh yeah. One hit point at the start of each turn. That is insane. That is so good. These two we can ignore. This guy has to die. That has to be moved. Or destroyed. Moving it is going to be easier. Oh. I think we got this. It's still alive? Oh wow, it just stays there, continuously detonating? That's interesting. I'm glad I didn't have to make a play where I thought the best thing to do was to just leave it up. Okay, it damages itself, so worst case it does this twice. But still. Um, this is looking like a spot of bother. Not too bad, though, really. I'm more worried about next turn. I think I will have Veldak punch this. We will shove this onto the fire and just shoot this away.
Alright, what are we up against? That doesn't look too bad. That's a problem. Okay, uh, okay, alright. Boosted unit. Plus one damage the next time it attacks. Oh, wow. Beldak. So you heal every single turn. You gain plus two movement on the last turn. And you gain plus one damage on the last turn. That is pretty crazy. What's the attack order? If this was before this, it would have been very useful. Alas, this guy is going last. Or almost last. Effectively last. Um, I like how the uh, the boosted icon kind of reminds me of the Panoko emote. Beldak's just a little cranky this turn. Alright, so we have three damage. Uh, which means we could kill this outright, but this would still be here. Uh... Wait, this pushes, right? So if I... If I sh shoot this... Oh, it's it's got only one health. Um, okay, if I do this... This guy pushes this guy, and they both deal zero damage to anything we care about. And then... Uh, we've moved... Neemond out of the way. I don't know if that matters. If I could get Veldak to this tile, we could effectively one-shot the Alpha Scorpion. Um, but I don't see that we have the actions. We need one action here. One action here. One, two, three, four. Four. And I don't think there's a way to to launder one action into two this turn. I think we're taking some damage. So we've still got our reset. We can try we can try re-rolling. We can try for the 15% chance to just not take damage on one of these. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can stop this guy. The, both. I can kill both of these with one shot, effectively. So that's one, two... And then, I guess we're stopping more damage by doing this. I don't want to find out later that... Oh wait, I can just hold control, can't I? Yeah, they do push. So I could either teleport this here, or I could teleport this here. It would have the same effect. Hey, Boofy. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, we're going to undo all the moves, otherwise we won't be able to... If we've moved someone wrong, we won't be able to fix it. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. And we're going to do this. And we're going to reset the turn and hope... Hope that things will turn out different this time. They did not. We still saved one of the buildings out of those two. That's the best that we can do, and then we have to hope this guy misses. Oh, he did. Well, that's pretty lucky. We've been very lucky, actually, with the, uh, the building damage resistances. If we can get this beyond max power level, uh, we start gaining grid percent 
a grid defense percent chance. Spend a reputation. What can we get? We've got seven. Spartan shield is really, really good from what I remember. Bash the enemy flipping its attack direction. And, and it can gain a shield. That's huge. Especially for our brute. Uh, AP... Yeah, prime class weapon. Okay. AP cannon. That looks useful. Fire a pushing projectile that pierces the first target and damages and pushes the... S it pushes two of them. It only damages the second one. That's interesting. So we need two things in a row if we're going to deal damage, but it's really about the utility. So this would be four, five, six, seven. I think we'll go for that. I was considering getting more reactor cores, but if we take either of these, we can only afford one core. I'm not selling any of this, it's all good. Um, and grid power isn't even remotely tempting because we want to be a little bit risky and gain everything that it takes to be powerful enough in future to perfect everything. Alright, so shield goes here. I think I'll probably spend the reactor core on gaining a shield for the Spartan, uh, for the Spidertron. I'd love to get plus one damage. Plus one move is actually huge. Um... Only one reactor core is... Oh, this is free. It's only the plus damage that costs any power. That is excellent. That's actually really, really good. I, I guess it's... Now that I think of it, I guess it's only when it's off class that it costs anything to actually have the weapon do something to begin with. I need to get some more XP for Neiman and Evil Pla. Gotta remember that. They probably could have already leveled up. But if we only have one point right now, I think I'll go for the shield. I can always move this power around as well. We're only committing it to the mech itself. So depending on the map, we might change it. All right, leave island. And we've only got one option right now. We've got a difficult one. Block Vex spawning three times, defend the solar farms. Big rewards, big risk. It doesn't look bad. With the terrain and everything. But I don't think I'll start with it. Defend the terraformer. Uh, terraform the grassland back to desert. I think we have to spend all four turns having this thing work in four different directions, and it like destroys everything that it aimed uh, that it's aimed at. That's probably the easiest mission we could ask for. And this one is, do not kill the Volatile Vec, that's actually really tricky sometimes. Alright, let's start with the Rift. Uh, and I probably should have checked, but I think I do want to go for the Shield here. So Veldax regening one hit point every turn and gets a Shield after using this attack. And now we have a way to deal two damage without pushing. That's rather good. What is this? Repulsive pellets. Launch an artillery attack pushing the shooter and the target. So kind of like the uh, ranged version of the other 
of the bouncer. Gastropod, unsend, okay. Hooked proboscis, use a grapple to pull the VEC toward objects or units to the VEC. Does it not deal damage? Oh, it does deal damage. All right, I think I'll put you... Can I see how this works? Not right now. Actually, can I bring everyone back? I think it's these six tiles here in each direction that get terraformed. So we don't want to put anyone there if we can help it. Probably. This seems... This seems good. That's a lot of hit points on this guy. So we're going to start by terraforming this direction. Get wrecked. And... Do I have a way to kill this? I don't think so. I could kill this and then push that. Oh, wait. No, that'll deal two damage. Ooh. New toy? AP cannon? Hell yes. Shoot through the uh, terraformer without dealing damage to it. Oh, this is, this is too good. You couldn't script a better use for that weapon right there. Let's grab ourselves a shield and push Veldak onto the tile that's going to block the enemy from coming up. So now we have zero damage. We only have two enemies to deal with. What is this? Arachnid Scion. All other Vec will spawn... A spidling egg on death? Oh no. Uh, well, I know who we're killing first. Um, I think I see the solution. Definitely one of the easier levels when you have this terraformer. And let's block this one from coming up as well. Action available? Wait, what? Oh, this guy. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so we're not going to get value... We're not going to get combat value out of the terraformer this turn, I'm pretty sure. Um, how... Oh, I stand corrected, actually. Let's put you over here. And evil plus... Over here. And we'll block here. Seems good. And our final action is rather obvious. Oh. Oh. Evil Claw gets finisher as well. Okay. And we're done ski. Sigma Bean, name a pilot. Okay, I think everyone's named at the moment. 
So we'll have to wait till we find someone new. <laughs> what is that emote? <laughs> Fantastic. Alright, perfect. Boost and plus two move at the last turn. Finisher. And we got thick skin. Immune to acid and fire on Naimund. They've also still got one more skill to learn. We need about another 38... 44 XP on each of them. Should we be greedy? I think I still want to save this for... in case we... Um, in case we gain some more power before this mission. I think you can only get the time pod once per island, and I wouldn't want the time pod showing up during the most difficult level. Let's try this one, because after this we'll have access to this mission as well, so we'll have more choices. I don't want the easy one with low rewards. Alright, which one's the Volatile Vec? It's this guy, isn't it? Deals one damage, explodes on death. What's the passive again? Everything laser spidling. Well, that has to go. We'll start with... This? What's your range? Okay. That should be fine. Alright, so we can actually just ignore this guy if we just move out of the way. I'd like to damage him though, so we can get ready to kill it. But I've only got... Oh, stand corrected. I've got two ways to deal two damage with one shot. And then... I don't want to hurt it. The Volatile Vec, that is. So we're just going to push it over here. And no matter what it does next turn, we should be in a position to neutralize or ignore its attack. Nice. We can just ignore that damage. Or we can move out of the way. Whatever works better. We can ignore this guy. This guy has to die and or be moved. Oh, he's going to hit both of those at once as well. Oh, that was a trap I could have fallen into. I mean, it would have just cost a, cost a reset. But if I punch this here, he's still going to attack over here, and would actually almost kill the Volatile Vec. Um, I think I'll do it this way. We're going to jump over here, push this guy into here. He'll take one damage from this. I was going to say he would take two from this guy, but that would push him. Which I don't want. Um, I can use the shield bash to turn around this guy's aim. That'll actually make him bump this, or does it... I think last turn it just cancelled his attack entirely because it was aimed off of the field. Yep, that's how that works. Alright. So... We could do it this way. I guess we're not killing this either way. But that's fine. 
Oh, yes we are, because it pushes both of them. Fantastic. Calculated. I meant to do that. Many confused about the game. Can we get a basic explanation? Hey, damsel. Uh, yes, you can. Good to see you again, by the way. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So... Once our turn starts, it's like chess. There's no randomness except for if an enemy, if, if damage is dealt to a building, it might get cancelled out. Bugs killing buildings equals bad. Yes. Ben Wu, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Wait. No, you were here before. Okay. Well, you're welcome anyway. So there. Um, so here we have, when your turn starts, you can do all these things, move, attack, and so on. Uh, the Vec don't do anything until after your turn. Uh, and you can actually see what order they're going to do things in. So, we're able to plan out our whole turn, not like XCOM or something where... We're going to have to, like, flip a coin to see if when we run this way, is this guy going to get shot or not. Um, the only randomness, apart from the grid defense thing, is, like, what enemies you're going to face next turn and where they're going to pop up and stuff like that. And maybe there's some randomness in the decision making by the AIs. Uh, but I don't think so. So right now, this guy's going to shoot this, this guy's going to break this, this guy's going to break this, this guy's going to charge down here, and this guy's going to shoot and hit absolutely nothing because we're not going to be there. We need to stop this attack, this attack, and this attack, and we need to not kill this guy. And that's a problem. Hmm. So we have just the one good guy. Uh, we've got three mechs, three pilots. Uh, we've actually got some interesting passives now with the advanced edition. Veldak has hit point regeneration and on the last turn he gets plus one damage and plus two movement. Definitely spices things up a bit. Um, if I shoot this, our volatile Vec friend will take damage, but we'll get smoke here so this guy can't attack. That's a good start. Oh, I've got a better idea maybe. We can shoot this, the sand will turn into smoke, this guy can't attack, this guy gets pushed off of attacking this building. That's these two taken care of with one action. We also step out of the way of the charger. And then I think the only thing we need to do is stop this guy. And I know just what to do about that. We're going to hit him with the Spartan shield. And flip his attack direction. Could I have done better? No, there was nothing here before. I was thinking of like using this weird gun that has to go through something before it does damage, but it's fine. And then... Evil Pla can't really go anywhere. I think what I might do is just deal one damage to this guy and let him push Evil Pla onto this tile to prevent a Vec from spawning here next turn. Oh, also, when you get the Vec to kill each other, uh, the XP gets spread across the whole team. So that can be useful. Is applause not working? What? Oh... 
Mix it up updated, and I had to click one more button to make it start. Lovely. Fantastic. Let me just check that it's working. There we go. Alright, uh, this is our last turn, so we get extra damages on Veldak and Evil Plot. As is light. What light is there to add? Uh, I need to move this guy, I need to shoot this guy, or move him, or whatever. I need to kill this, and I need to stop this. Uh, we need to stop four things with three actions. How do we do this? This guy goes first. Oh no, the extra damage is actually screwing us. Because if this was only dealing two damage... I would flip this guy's attack around, and he goes before this guy, so he would kill him. He's just going for make a sound, fair enough. Yeah, Veldak, your your bonus damage is, is causing us problems right now. Um, I don't see how else I could turn... I, I don't see how else I could make one action accomplish two things on this turn. <laughs> I think we just have to accept one damage. Yeah, I think we... I think we just have to take one damage. Okay. And... Shoot this. Unfortunate. But we did get all the bonuses. Alright, so I want to do one of the hard ones for the bonuses. Destroy two mountains, kill seven enemies, protect the batteries. I think that's going to be rather difficult with our current equipment, and I don't like the layout of this. I think the dead bird field is going to be much better. Let's try it. Um, one, two, one, two, three, maybe. That should be okay. And there's our thing that I said I didn't want on the hard mission. The time pod. Actually, I think if the time pod is just on the ground at the end, it still counts as protecting it, right? I don't actually recall. This guy can be ignored. Uh, this guy can kind of be ignored. This guy cannot. This guy cannot. I can punch you into the water immediately. I was going to ask that last time. The time pod thing. Destroyed if damaged or trampled, collect with a mech, or defend until vec retreat. Okay, there you go. Yeah. We just have to not have it destroyed. This guy's on sand, so if I just shoot him directly, he won't get to attack. A dice, uh, d decipher? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Anyone except for Evil Plark could kill this. So I think I want to use the weakest action that I have. Uh, the weakest attack, the weakest mech that I have to kill this big thing in one hit. 
And then Beldak can go not a whole lot of places, actually. I could have Veldak pick up the Time Pod, shield himself, and just block this. Wait, what's the attack order? This guy's last. Never mind. Um, I could almost kill this in one hit. Been curious about this game? How is it? I love Into the Breach. Um, the only thing that's new to me right now is the advanced edition content patch which came out two or three months ago actually yeah absolutely love into the breach oh one two three i can have veldak almost one shot this let's do that all right so do i want to teleport to here or shoot here I think we'll have more options if I teleport to here. Something might come out of this that'll immediately, like, web the artillery mech, but we should be able to deal with it. And then... If Veldak is going here, then the only place for Evil Plod to go is over here. Uh, he will take two damage. But it should be fine. Probably. Alright. We've got just one hit point on these two, so the artillery can kill something directly. We've got the get over here's uh, both targeting evil plot. So I think we can just have them hurt each other, is what I would say if the time pod wasn't in the way. So. I think this works like a mech ability that I've seen before. It pulls the vec towards objects or units towards the vec. So if these two point at each other... Who goes first? This, this guy who spawned first. Wait, doesn't that mean... This guy's gonna get pulled here. This guy's going to one-shot this guy, and then this guy's going to one-shot this guy by knocking him into the water. That is rather convenient. I wish I could repair Evil Pla and put him on this tile, but we can't have everything. I'm pretty sure the Time Pod won't be damaged. Like, this guy is basically just going to be teleported to this tile. Oh! Oh, I messed that up. I forgot that the AP cannon pushes both targets, even though it doesn't damage the first one. Is this still a good move? Is this still a good turn? I mean, we're gonna kill this. And we're gonna pull this guy over here. Does that even matter? I think one-shotting this is like... No, 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 no. We can do better than this. Because the artillery can one-shot this without disrupting any of that stuff. We'll have Evil Plug go here and repair. We'll have the artillery one-shot this. We'll have Veldak kill this. And then these guys will kill each other. I just hope the, uh... Yep, we're fine. And we're only left with one enemy now. I don't know if we can still block three things. Okay, yes we can. Very much so. 
All right, so all we need to do is block two more things. I think this is the last turn that we can block anything. This is actually a bit of a problem. Um... We need to block two things this turn. I, I might have to let the Alpha Beetle hit this building. If I put Veldak here, it does effectively the same thing. Uh, but worse, actually, because Veldak takes two hits. I can't repair Evil Pla and have him shoot and move this. And I can't move this in a meaningful direction and also block these tiles. So I th think to get all of our bonus objectives, we have to sacrifice a campaign hit point. Oh, wait, no, I've got the solution. Nice. Just move this here. And we're fine. Both of these guys, are, everyone but Veldak is Evil Plot and uh, Neemond, are going to be on one hit point. But other than that... I mean, that was going to happen anyway. Alright, this guy's already dead, I just have to move out of the way. But we could get more XP if we kill him. I don't know if we can. XP to Veldak means nothing, he's already max level. Uh, if they kill themselves, the XP gets spread out evenly. Hmm. Five damage. Oh, that's actually a problem? I think. Alright, we're gonna probably just punch this to get rid of it, or shield bash it. This thing already dies. Uh... Okay. I know just what to do. Do it carefully because we've got no reset. Repair Neemond and move Veldak over here and use the AP cannon through this guy. So it actually... Wow, that's strong. Finisher does plus one damage for everything, it's not just the first hit. So we got three damage instead of two by hitting it directly, and we got two damage instead of one with the bump. That's huge. Naisu. Did we get a perfect island? We got Isaac Jones. Gain one extra reset per mission. Skills. Conservative. What does that do? Do I have to put him here to see it? Limited use weapons are given plus one use. That's good. All right, who had the pilot name? Sigma Bean. All right. Uh, we're probably swapping Sigma in, maybe? Temporal reset isn't that great. And we're actually going backward in XP. Finisher is really, really good. Thick skin, I'm not that excited about. So Neiman is probably going to the sidelines. Because 
Conservative doesn't do anything for us either right now. So I guess it doesn't really matter for the moment. We, uh, I think we get to pick one more mission. Oh, we've got a reactor core as well. If I go plus one on the Spidertron, uh, we can actually get three damage from the Spartan shield. I think that's more valuable than gaining a shield right now. When more of the enemies are dealing more damage, it might flip around a bit, but we'll have more power by then anyway. Alternatively, we could go plus one move, or building's immune, or we could stop using the explosive warp, and actually we can't get the plus two damage on this. Going from 1 to 3 damage on the artillery is huge though, so I want to work towards it. Should I go buildings immune or movement? Probably buildings immune. I don't know, 3 to 4 movement is a really, really important critical mass. Especially depending on the map. Like right here. The artillery being able to move four tiles instead of three could very easily be the difference between being able to make a really good shot or not. Defend the prototype Renfield bombs with this terrain looks like an absolute nightmare, actually. I don't think I want that. Kill at least seven enemies, protect the generators and lightning storm. Except for the shape of where the buildings are, sounds really good. We also gain plus one power just by participating. I already looked at this one before, and I think we're going to be in trouble if we take that mission. So I think this is our only real option. I'd love to get plus one damage on the cannon here, but we're just getting like one core at a time. Alright, this will... this will be the mission. I can one-shot this without even punching it into something now. Wait, no, I didn't take that. Dup. I could have been able to do that. Alright. Uh, I think the... Mix will start right about one, two, three, one, two, three. That seems good. Right about here. Step into the lightning storm. Yes, thank you. Perfect. Uh, that's not so perfect. Okay, first thing I want to do is kill this. Second thing I want to do is move this guy, so we'll hit the mountain. Um, I can't leave my mech here, otherwise he's dead at the start of next turn. I could put this... I, I could put Veldak here and just shield up and block this. That might actually be the way to go. Alternatively, well, no, I can't get, I can't get the position with Niemand to knock this over here. So I think we'll go, we're going to get some spiderlings, but they only have one hit point. Could block the no, never mind. And then I can't get an angle to just shoot this anyway. 
I could have this guy kill it. But positioning being what it is... Kill at least seven. We don't really want to block them yet. So in that case, we'll have Veldak kill this, and then push Veldak to block the charger. So far, so good. got another purple to deal with already, but that's promising. Um, I could get Evil Plow to kill this outright. And then we push this guy onto the lightning and realize that we're not that intelligent. Because if I push this guy onto the lightning, we also push Evil Plot onto the lightning. I could simply shoot him though, and he won't be able to attack because he's in the smoke. And I don't think we're going to do that much better if we reset our turn. That's really good for us. Alright, so we really just have to kill this. Push this into here. Um, I'm not seeing a way to deal decent damage to this guy this turn. So I think we'll just do it this way. Pretty straightforward. This is all looking pretty manageable. We've already killed seven as well. We could ignore, we could just kill this outright and ignore these two if we wanted. Uh, what I might do instead for maximum XPs. Now we do need to kill this though. Hmm. Oh, I can't in the smoke. Rip. Uh, I want to get some XP for Evil Plot and Neemond, if at all possible. This guy's only going to do one damage. We can't really... I want to get the Fiver. You get as much XP as they have health. I want one of these two to kill the uh, Alpha Firefly. But I don't think there's a way to do it? Question mark? Oh, there is. They're definitely... It, we don't want to do that. I don't quite have the angle with the artillery. I'd love to push this guy onto the lightning. Hey, Mikelet. Good to see you again. A oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well.
I can set this guy up to be killed by Evil Claw. And I guess... I can't push this guy to here, because it'll destroy the plant. Hmm... Yeah, I don't think there's a way to do it. Let's just... Oh, if I punch this... Nope, that doesn't work. If only the... If only that smoke wasn't there. Hello? No, you deal three damage. This would be zero plus three if we push him there and flip that around. We're so close to being able to get some nice juicy chunks of XP. All right, what if we just punch this and... Oh yeah, yeah, we can do that. We're just going to straight up shoot this guy, or three damage, four damage. No, there isn't, there isn't, I don't think there's a way to do it. All right, four XP for evil plot it is. It's fine. that's a perfect island once we do the boss if we perfect the boss destroy the firefly leader protect corporate tower uh what do we got here six hit points shoots four damage in both directions that's kind of nasty we don't have anything that can web us so we can put these guys close as we like Oh, that's... That's so bad already. Maybe I should have blocked the possibility of this. If I move it twice in this direction or this direction... Is this a new profile run? Yeah, I wasn't sure whether to go for a profile that had unlocked everything before Advanced Edition or go for a new profile. There's been quite a lot of new stuff to see as it is, so I don't think this is the worst idea. We could always change it a bit later. I could shoot this directly to stop it from attacking. I'd really like... This is what we're going to do, definitely. I don't think the shield would help anything, especially because we don't get to push. So we're going to push this guy here. And push this guy here. He's gonna... Oh. Uh, the boss always goes first. So this is fine, actually. As long as we deal one damage to the charger. Which we're gonna get by doing this push. So the boss is gonna shoot first. This guy's not gonna get his turn. This guy doesn't get to attack. And the boss is down to one hit point. I had one that had everything unlocked, and then I just manually edited the file and unlocked the rest of it. Wow, okay. Dang, that's a good turn. Thank you. Alright, what can we do here? It shouldn't be much of a problem, but... Actually, I take that back. 
I don't think we can kill the Arachnid Scion before killing anything else. We can ignore this guy. We gotta kill or stop these two. I would prefer to give the XP for the big boss to Neiman, probably. Or well, actually, I think it would put Evil Plot on 49 XP. That's unfortunate. Um, this doesn't hurt buildings. So I could put it anywhere I want to push enemies. If Veldak isn't killing the leader, then the only thing Veldak is doing is this. So, Evil Pla. There's no way for Veldak to kill this. There's no way for Evil Pla to kill this. Veldak can't even get a shot on it. I think we're just going to have to put up with some spiderlings. If that's the case, we can block this spawn, push this guy. I mean, I don't think pushing this guy is necessarily good, but... If I shoot him normally like this, the spider comes up here, right? I don't think that knowledge helps us in any way. Yeah, I think we're just gonna... ...do it like this. Maybe I should just kill the spiderling so that we're not we're removing one enemy threat with one action this way yeah this is pretty good I think Which way are you attacking? Oh, I see. Um, this is less good. I can kill this outright. I can't really... Uh, okay, I can sidestep this, kill the uh, Arachnid Scion first. That is probably the play. And then we have two, three, actually. Hmm. Three enemies pointing at buildings. I can't step here or here and still be able to attack. If this is dead, I can go here and kill this in one hit, put this down to one health. We could tank those two shots. I think that's going to be it. Punch and Evil Pla is just gonna have to eat these two shots. Okay. It's not that bad, I don't think. We can ignore this guy, we can't ignore this guy or this guy. Can't ignore this guy. Um, this is a problem. Oh, I know.
We can deal with these two with one action. Just push this guy here. And then... Veldak. This guy... Uh, Neiman can just step out of the way. Veldak can... Negate this attack. Pick this up with the shield. Not that it matters. And... I don't think there's anything else useful that we can do. Go to sleep? No. Fair enough. I mean, my class the one that asked me to stream this. Not that you have to ask me to play this game, I love it. Alright. Perfect island? Perfect island. Plus one mech move, that's really, really good. I, it's hard to overstate how good that is. And we get Abe Isamu. Mech gains armored, reducing income weapon, incoming damage by one. Uh, weapon damage in particular. It doesn't stop bumps from dealing damage. We also got Technician. Freeze yourself and the target. You'd be surprised how often that can be good. Yo, T-Hacks unrelated, can I be a mod? Uh, yeah, actually. Where do I mod you? I, I don't know where I can quickly... Can I go, like, slash mod? I can. Easy. Hands what to damsel? What is that? I'm totally trash at it. I play for fun. Of course I play for fun. What difficulty is this? Uh, hard. So the hardest difficulty before... Before the advanced edition came out. Is that all it takes? What about me? <laughs> Lol. Uh, alright, so... Wait, wait, wait. What's this wait button? Select one free reward. Okay. Oh, um, yeah, no, we're definitely taking the pilot. I think they changed it, but you used to be able to sell the pilots at the end of the island for two reputation. So you could hardly go wrong selecting the pilot. But I think, it, I think they changed it to just one now. And unless you're desperate, you never want to go for the grid defense. Like, unless you're about to lose the game, you want to invest in winning later on. You're on thin ice, my clan? No, you're not. Revenge? Soul. Wait, what did my clan do? It has something to do with owls? Uh-oh. So what's this? Technician... Oh wow, that is huge. Armored and technician at the same time. One damage reduction, one hit point regen. Um, I'm thinking maybe we use him... For the, uh... For the shieldy mech? Or actually, I think I want Evil Pla on the artillery now, with the plus one move, and in the last turn we get plus two move and plus one damage. That's pretty big. Uh, I think we've already got Veldak regenning and gaining shield, so that's already super tanky. But we, we're going to make the tank tanky. Abe is going to go in the tank. The real question is, what didn't I do? Indeed. Uh, and let me check. 
spend reputation. Yeah, we can only sell the pirates. Pirates? Pilots. We can only give the pilots back for one reputation now, so that that makes the decision a bit more difficult sometimes. We can only use three pilots, so we're probably going to discard one or two here. Should I, like, transfer names, or... Probably not. Networked shielding. Mechs cannot take damage during the player turn? That's huge! And this... This is just... can go on any mech? Oh, it costs two power. That's really interesting. Nano filter mending. Standing on smoke repairs mechs and removes smoke. That is also huge. It looks like it's just for the one mech. And it looks like it doesn't cost any power. We're putting that on the Spidertron. Except, uh, maybe we get rid of the... F Ooh, that's really difficult. Difficult choice. I'd probably keep the shield over the Titan Fist and make it work in smoke. Some of these weapons and upgrades are so good. It's for all of them? It works for every mech? Serious? Standing on smoke repairs mechs and removes smoke. Oh wow. We've got such amazing choices here. And what's this? Shield tank. I've seen this. Deploy a shield tank that can give shields to allies. Uh, it's kind of hard with the action economy to make the most of this, but once you get it going, uh, it's actually quite useful. But looking at how much power we need, I don't think we'll be going for that. I guess it's the plural mechs, yeah. I feel like we have to take at least one of these. The nano filter mending. Standing on smoke repairs mechs and removes smoke. Does that mean it looks like as soon as we move them, the smoke is gone? Which would just be amazing, especially for Spidertron. Okay, so what's our budget? We want a multiple of three remaining so we can buy cores. Uh, we can get rid of two pilots to go up to nine. But I think... As weird as it sounds, I think network shielding is... not that great. Mostly because it needs two power. We gotta get this one. Question is what we're swapping out to make that work. Probably the explosive warp is the thing that I've used the least. And it also frees up one power for this mech. So then we're definitely getting at least one reactor core. Probably getting swapping out one pilot and getting another one. But that puts our power... We've got four movement and three damage on the artillery mech now. That is a massive, massive upgrade. Network shielding I think is good if you get some self-damaging abilities. Oh yeah. So we've got both... All of our mechs except for the artillery are self-repairing. This guy's armored and this guy gets a shield whenever he uses the Spartan shield. Uh, we can do knockback and three damage with a bump. Knockback and two damage with a bump. Knockback and three damage with a bump with piercing weirdness. Uh, I think we'll actually probably sell ex explosive warp and I'll hold on to the pilots. Then again, maybe I should grab Network Shielding. 
didn't realize you could actually skip the first upgrade. Uh, what do you mean by skip? Oh, Neiman got thick skin? Oh, that's not the same as armored. Thick skin, immune to acid and fire. Yeah, that's not that great. Uh, and Sigma... Literally nothing, basically. <laughs> we get one extra reset, which most of the time we, we won't be using. The middle upgrade for equipment wasn't optional. You mean like this? Like we can go straight to this thing? Oh yeah, right here. Like 80 hours in this game, but Lamel. <laughs> nice. Alright. Sorry, Sigma Bean, but... I don't think we'll be using that pilot. Um, probably another reactor core. We're not so power rich as to take advantage of this. Buildings immune could still be good. Uh, I'd really like to get some damage on the sit on top. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll go plus one movement on this guy for now. Wait, that's the wrong one. <laughs> plus one movement on this guy for now. And then we'll be one point away from increasing damage. But I'll probably end up using the AP cannon for damage. I don't know. We'll see. Um, the only thing left to do is... We could swap these two for the network shielding. We'll lose nothing if we never end up actually using those two, th uh, the network shielding. Oh, yes we will, because we can only sell it for one, duh. Well, we learned something today. Alright. Um, we could do the end of the game now if we wanted to, but screw that. The humans employed at Pinnacle are just as important as the sentient machines. We must stop the Vec to save all life. Very good. Knock mites off the mechs. Protect the emergency batteries. Uh, we're probably going to have to do this regardless. We get a whole power core if we protect the robotics lab here. That's huge. Break five buildings out of the ice, that actually tends to make it easier. Because it effectively gives the buildings a shield and the Vec try to attack them. Destroy two Vec egg sacs. That doesn't sound too difficult. I don't know how many hit points the egg sacs have or whatever. But we'll try and power up a bit before we take this on. Kill at least seven enemies. I, especially with the ice storm, I don't want that. It might shield them. This unit is frozen. It cannot move or attack and will remain frozen until it takes damage. Fantastic. Uh, let's start here, I suppose. I just realized that may not have been a question for chat. Wait, what? I don't know what the question was. Asked how much hit point the sex had. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm not too worried about, like, spoilers for this. It's probably fine. Uh, this guy is gonna reveal all of these. I don't think I want that. These guys are a pain. They have armor as well. Or 
do they? No, we're fine. That's going to be a really good start. That's going to be a really, really good start, actually. Just going to bring Veldak over here. Oh, it just broke by itself? What? I'm glad we're not expected to protect these little robots. That happens sometimes. So is this game similar to XCOM? Uh, yes and no. There's definitely not the uh, random unfairness of XCOM. The only RNG is like, where will the enemies come up? What kind of missions are we going to have? Things like this. It's a turn-based game, but no to 99% chance to hit and miss, yeah. Um, I've only got a couple of turns to get the mites off of this mech. I guess we're not dealing with a whole lot of smoke on this island, now that I think about it. I'd really... oh... Wait, do we have... we do not have buildings immune. That's unfortunate. Yes. Yeah, that's the cool thing. Like, every turn is kind of like uh, a turn in chess. Everything's deterministic. But you have a serious advantage in that you can tell exactly what the enemies are going to do. Uh... Like you have super reflexes or something. You're not just reacting to what they do, but you can see it before it happens. Um, I guess I'll just have Abe shoot this guy. Evil Pla reverses attack. And... Oh, sorry, that was Veldak. Evil Plark and Repair, and then we've got the bonus. What's this now? Andy Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The factory is done growing. It's time to kill biters. Oh, no. So, Evil Pla has Finisher as well. So now we're doing four damage just directly with the artillery on the last turn. Not that we... Oh, I was going to say not that we need it right now. I almost missed this. And look at that extra, that one tile of extra movement from Finisher. And the plus one mech move also makes this possible. MVP. And let's get you a little crumb of XP. Okay, let's continue. Going very well so far. Um, do I want to think about not using this passive? Well, the thing is, it doesn't cost any power. This one requires two power just to work. So we'll definitely do that for now. The whole crew is here. Yeah, happens a lot with the Factorio community, or at least certain, like, somewhat overlapping time zones with the Factorio community. Boom bots? So I grabbed my boom bots and hit the turbo base. That looks relatively easy. Insomnia time zone is best time zone. I can def get behind a game about killing bugs. Fair enough. Less than three grid damage protect the coal plant seems like the easiest. We also gain grid defense, but we don't gain as much rep for buying equipment. 
I think I'll go for this one. Oh, it's these guys. They hop around and then do the web high damage thing. What about boom? Boom artillery, boom laser? Uh, okay, so they just explode on death. That's the only thing. Seems pretty easy to deal with. This is regen for all of the Vex. Alright, seems fairly straightforward. Actually, I want... I want Abe lining up with that uh, piercing cannon thing over here, I think. And we also get a pod that's looking nice and out of the way. Uh, that could be a pro... No, don't go there. That's so rude. The passive knows just where to go to be a nuisance to us. Um... If I shoot this, these two die. We might do that. Three health on this guy. Can't kill him, can't move him. What can Veldak do if I remove these two? Not a whole lot. What can Veldak do if I don't kill these two with someone else, only stop one of them? If I'd put two points into the dash, Veldak could kill this. Alas. I need to get mad at Nalvis again? Getting ahead on work so I can stream now. Nice. Um, Andy Gaming, thank you very much for the gifted sub. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy it, Mikelet. Thank you so much. Oh, I can one-shot this with the artillery now. But then... I could one-shot this, Abe could go here, Pierce kill these two, but then Valdak would be one tile short from killing the Leaper. Hmm... I think I got outplayed. I probably should have put one more movement. I, I really should have valued movement a bit sooner, especially on the melee mech. Uh, it's going to be two damage regardless of which of these hits, but since we have 19% chance per attack to not take damage, uh, this one is going to roll 19% chance to fail twice, and this one's going to just have the one roll. Hmm. There's no way I can... Oh, I can block a shot with this, but... I would have to, like, kill this shield up and move over here, which I can't do. Oh, it doesn't even block it, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I think we just have to... Do it like this. <gasps> nope. Nothing happened, don't worry about it. Well, yeah, that, that changes the calculation a little bit. I guess Veldak is just going to pick this up and kill this while gaining shield. Oh, they're going to explode and kill each other anyway. Which means 
Oh, this is so easy all of a sudden. This is so easy now. I can't believe I didn't see that. The pod, indeed. I love that spinning emote. Alright. Uh, looks like we don't have much to worry about this turn, except we need to- we need the bonus to kill these two. Um, that's actually surprisingly tricky. I do want to kill the- the regen, but it's not that important, to be honest. Maybe like this? Oh wait, if I bump these two together... One, t one two, three... Veldak's lack of movement is seriously hurting. Okay, I know just what to do. Oh, right, they explode even better. I gotta remember that. Regen and shield and regen and armor is very, very strong on our front lines. If you push them, they blow up on the tile they land on. Yes. Yes, indeed. This guy... Oh, actually... No, this is terrible. Um... Veldak can only kill this. I can damage one and push the other with this attack. I can't damage them both. So I can't use this to, like, stop both of these guys from attacking. Same deal with the artillery. And Veldak just straight up can't reach these guys. So... Unless? No, I don't think there's an unless. If I could have, like, bumped... Uh, Abe back here. No, that wouldn't have made a difference. I can't actually kill this. Next turn I can insta-kill it with the artillery. Um... Hmm. This is actually pretty bad. This is actually very bad. I mean, it'll sting, but we won't lose any of our bonuses or anything. I can one-shot this guy... And... I guess it's gonna be better to stop this guy than this guy, if we have to choose. We would barely be able to kill this next turn anyway. I should have done an experiment, actually. Oh, enemy, enemies emerge after our regen. So if I didn't shield this, uh, Veldak would be minus one hit point. Alright. I actually can't kill this in one. I could kill this and then one, two, three, kill this. And we just need to scratch that one. Wait, wait, wait. One, two, three. You're going to get pushed though. We can just ignore this guy. 
but do I want to? Well, it doesn't really... We're only trying to get XP for Abe. We can only deal one or two damage. So I think we're going to do it like this. There we go. Time for me to fire up Factorio. Fantastic. All right. Uh, we got there, but we took some damages. But we're still on our way to a perfect island. As weird as that sounds. We also got a power core, which is pretty big. I definitely, definitely, definitely want the movement on Veldak. Uh, I think we have two more... Two more levels. I think I want to do this one, though. Now that we've got that plus one power. This thing has one health. Regen from this. Vec Egg. Is it really just sitting there with one hit point? Is that it? I suspect no. Break five buildings out of the ice. That's all but two of them. And we got a five hit point worm. We got a lot of hit points. It's getting... It's getting late in the game. Okay. That's fine. That's less fine. It does nothing? Wow, okay. Uh, I think I'll probably want to start with this. Veldak will take one damage. Uh, we'll kill this. We'll reveal the robotics lab. I don't know if I want to do that because I was thinking of leaving this worm up and letting, stopping this guy from hitting here. But maybe we'll do it the other way around. So we kill this, bump this, hit this guy. We can hit him for three if we do this. Veldak's going to take a couple of damage actually. But that's okay. If I... hmm... Even though we're trying to whittle this thing down, I might leave the regen passive up. Whoa, what was that? Did my OBS just crash and reset or something? Are we good? I hope so. Um, it's probably better if I just kill this. I don't think I can, though. Stream looks good. Okay. I think I'll move Veldak first, and then we'll kill the... Uh... Wait, no, we have to stop this. In which case... I really want the three damage instead of one on the worm, since we're not getting the uh, regen down yet. And then we're going to get some serious value out of hit point regeneration. That's two out of the ice. We can kill this now... Wait, did the regen happen? Yeah, we can kill this now with the artillery. This is a bit of a problem, though. 
So theoretically, we do this at some point. Uh, we can kill this by putting it, punching it down to one health and blocking this. Um, and then we just need this guy out of the way, which... That'll also crack one of the ice things around the buildings. I don't love leaving that up at 4 health, but I think it'll be fine. And I'll actually get rid of the egg instead of leaving this guy up. Oh, that's very helpful, thank you. Actually, if I had... if I'd put a point into the artillery not being able to damage friendly buildings, I could just do this. But I don't even need to. The Vec are gonna... break five buildings out of the ice for us. Can't quite kill that outright. So I think I'll just do this, and what was I going to do with this guy? I do want to get rid of you. So nothing except for this is going to regenerate, and we're going to allow exactly th two more buildings to be broken out of the ice. That's really good for us. Okay. Uh, these two need to be stopped. This guy needs to be stopped. I can kill this outright. I can kill this outright. I can push this guy. One, two, three. Uh, I think that's the solution. Can we get some XP for Abe, though? Not really. If I get this to kill that, I don't really see a way for that to happen. Punch this, shoot this, push this. Yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of room for improvement here. The Untold Sitcom, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream? Earthbound. Welcome. It was okay. A-OK. -okay. Fantastic. And... Push. And I don't think we're getting any XP for Abe this time. Stream was fun, nice. Glad the imploded. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This is my friend Ruthie. Nice. Good to meet you. Got possessed and I don't know how to get unpossessed. Uh oh. Alright, we have another power core. Should we go two damage on the basic cannon? Sacrifice some movement on this guy. I think that's probably the way to go. Buildings immune would be amazing as well. But with the amount of health the Vec have now, I think having an attack that just deals one damage is not so great. And this sound... 
both of these rewards are the same, and this one sounds easier. A lot easier, actually. The Ice Storm could prevent us from killing the Seven Vec. So let's go for this. Was this the same, the game made by the people who did FTL? Yes, it was. Very underrated, hell yeah. It, it has the same thing as well with the massive free content patch that eventually came out as well. Actually, I think I want the tank there, and you can go here. Another pod? Did we get two pods this island? This could be complicated. I think maybe played the tutorial and then got distracted by other games and never went back to it? Missing out. This will kill these two. So we'll almost certainly go for that. This guy's going to miss entirely, slash we don't care. I need to kill this, but not push it onto the time pod. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty straightforward, actually. Protect the coal plant, protect the time pod. Less than three grid damage, so we're not having to, like, protect the robots or anything. Those were some of the most annoying levels. Get stick bugged? <laughs> in T. The stick bugs are actually really, really strong. I mean, they have one hit point, or three hit points, but uh, they're, they're actually really effective. Alright, um, how do I want to do this? Well, this is just incredibly easy right now, but what's the best thing we can do? Probably get rid of the tile where a melee could go in front of the building here. And can I just... How much damage is this going to do? It's going to set me on fire. It's not going to deal damage directly. Enemies emerge after Technician. So... If I do this, Abe will just barely not die. And this guy will block the Vec as well. And we'll only have one enemy to deal with next turn. Oh wait, he regens now as well. Even better. We got a chunker of a single enemy to deal with, though. There's no way to kill him this turn. But we'll hit him as hard as we can. Regen Abe. Here is fine, I think. Uh, and... I think I still want to leave Valdak here. We'll break that ice a little bit, so that if something really big is standing here, we can kill it in one shot. Farm XP? Uh, I didn't think to do it, but maybe there wasn't a way last turn. Okay, you're ignorable. You're ignorable. We've only got two actions that we have to do. Question is, can I get more XP for Abe? Preferably more than one XP, because that's what this Leaper will give us, because that's how many hit points it has. Oh, wait, two damage. I'm so glad I upgraded the damage on this guy. Five XP for you. Fantastic. If we can get the Vec to kill each other, we could get even more for, for Abe, but I don't really see it happening. If we move this guy down twice, but then two actions, this would definitely be... We also don't have buildings immune to our artillery, so no need to worry about that. Cool.
And shield array. That's actually really good. But not with our current playthrough. We don't have a science class. Oh, it's all right. It's only got one use per battle as well. That's one of the one of the few weapons where the conservative uh, skill would have been useful. Okay. Uh, how do we want to spend our reactor core? Probably building's immune. I've been wanting it a lot. Destroy the gastropod leader. Protect the tower. So what does this guy do? Oh my goodness. Three damage. Sets everything around it on fire. So is that three damage in all directions? I think the three damage is just the thing it crapples. Okay. Let's start with this. I, I'm hoping that it'll try to grapple... Well, actually, whether it goes here or here... How much movement does it have? Only three. But even if it could go up here, it can only grapple... Veldak by missing the buildings. Uh, it might still try to grapple the buildings, but it at least has the option to waste its turn this way. I don't think fire destroys the buildings, weirdly enough. I think. And then... Oh, you're... You're webbed. Alright. We can kill this outright, push this off of dealing any damage, but then we'll be in the way... Huh. We won't be able to get out of the way of the attack if we do that. I could punch you down here, but then we'll die. Shield. Wait, if I shield this, won't it grapple this thing? It will. Alright, so you're dead. You're wasting your turn except for setting things on fire. I think the shield prevents the fire damage. I think. But then... One, two, three. Yeah, that can work. Do I want to put you over here instead? I think not. And then... Oh, I am a derp. I forgot it pushes the first one again. Control tells you? Yeah. Well, I mean, we were looking at it like this. Uh, reset turn. Thank you very much. Not end turn. Okay. So, let's try that again. Um, obviously, we're going to have to spend an action to deal with this. I think the shield is the way to go with this. However... Yeah, I think we're just going to kill this outright. Shield to turn around the attack. Um, and just shoot this guy off of here. Except... If I kill this, move this guy here... We can shoot that 2 plus 1 damage. That'll be fine. Alright. Flip your attack around. I think I'll move uh, Veldak a bit closer as well. Actually, no. I want Veldak blocking movement through here. I 
I could also push the Alpha Scarab back this way if I want this to kill this. It's, it's the same effect in the end. This is going to die and this is going to take no damage. Uh, I think we're better off with this. I'm an idiot. Oh no. I think I just screwed up everything actually. Because we can't we're not able now to protect the tower. Uh, we almost had a perfect island. But I derped it up twice. Because there's two buildings here, I can't even, like, shoot through one to push this guy to kill this. This is what we did last time. It's gonna push this one here, it's gonna hit the tower. I can't block the artillery shots. This is only gonna accomplish one damage on this guy. Because this is going to die anyway. If I move, I don't have the movement because I upped the damage. I was going to say if I move up here and push something, it doesn't work anyway. One, two, three, four, I could have pushed this. It would have killed Abe though. Okay, I guess we have a 19% chance. Rip. Okay. This is also looking pretty bad. One, two, three, four things we have to deal with with three actions. Um, I can ignore this one actually. Can I push it so that... It'll die by fire? I think so. This will be the last attack it gets to do if I do that. But then we have... This is like the one thing we can ignore and we've got four actions we need to make. I can kill this outright. Push this off. Kill this with fire. It'll have to do. this guy. Alright. Um, I see a solution. Wait. One, two, three, which means we need to do it this way. You'll kill this take fire damage, and then at the start of the next turn you'll die even if we don't do anything to you. Okay. 
Okay. You're dead. You're already dead. You're dead. Pretty straightforward. Welp. We just lost two reputation and a reactor core, I think, because of that mistake. What do we have here? Throw an adjacent unit and damage it. That's pretty good. Uh, but I don't think we'll be swapping these weapons out, probably. On the plus side, we have no more red places. I'm assuming red equals bad. Uh, I mean, the blue ones were actually destroyed by the Vec as well. We just didn't have the time to save them. All right, what are we what are we buying? Repair field. That's actually huge sometimes. But considering we have two mechs that regen, I don't think we really need it. Light tank. That's actually huge if we have lots of power to put into it. Like five more power and it's... Five more power and it's like a whole extra tank here. Um... What's this? Hydraulic legs. Oh, I've seen this. This would actually be incredibly good since we've got the regen. And you know what? We could even put Abe in the Spidertron. And I think, I could be wrong, but I think the... Uh, I think the armor prevents that damage. Let's see. Test mech. Yep. Right click or Q to disarm. All oh, right. That's really cool. All right, so let's see. Um, plus one damage each or plus one damage? If we do the plus one damage each, it's still going to regenerate. And we get two damage all around this mech, wherever it jumps to. I definitely want a reactor core. Um, we're probably gonna get rid of something here. Probably the shield array, definitely. One more reactor core. Plus one damage each. That makes the movement speed less of an issue. But again, three to four is like a really, really important critical mass of movement speed. Uh, we can probably put Veldak in the tank. I think the finisher in the tank is going to be relevant a lot more often as well. You can put stuff that doesn't belong on this mech here if you pay one extra power. Also, come to think of it, Network shielding would be huge with those self-damaging abilities. Uh, what else have we got here? One, two... There's no way we're selling three things, so we're not getting another reactor core. Unless we swap out something we've already got equipped. I do not want to do that. Definitely not. I 
I could swap the... sort of swap the movement bonus for plus one damage on the shield. I think we'll probably kind of need it. So the shield bash is now three. This is two. We can only move three, but we can do big jumps. I could make this deal one and this deal three. That might be the way to go. That gives us a lot more versatility, because sometimes we don't want to deal all of the damage. I think that's the way to go for now. Alright, on to the final island, other than the boss fights. Disposal unit. Oh, that's not the one I was thinking of. There's a mission on this island that gives you something really overpowered for killing the Vec. It's actually a great place to start. This thing looks really difficult, though. <laughs> Defend the train high threat. Defend the train is bad enough without high threat. Let's start with this. 4-4... Four, four. Four and five hit points. What the heck is that? Alpha Plasmodia launches a short-lived Alpha Spore. Well, that doesn't look very friendly. I don't want this guy to be able to reach a building. We can't do much about these two in that respect. And we'll put the artillery back here somewhere. Threatened. Oh! Oh, they tried to smoke us! Remember that passive that wasn't doing anything for a while? The smoke is just instantly... instantly removed. And I think it healed us as well. Not that it matters. Uh... What is this? I think... I think Alpha Plasmodia is secretly on our side. Yeah, we don't have to do anything here. Alright. Veldak... I mean, yeah, Veldak can actually one-shot this because of the way I changed the damage, that was a really good decision. Evil Pla can kill this in one shot, I think. Um, we don't actually have a good spot to do the explodey jump. Unless I want to get rid of these rocks, which I don't really want to. I think we'll start with this. And then Abe can one-shot this with the shield. Wait, before we do... I should have kept that on slot two. It's become muscle memory. And... Get wrecked. It's going to be easier to level Abe up with this uh, spread as well. What's this? Plus one health for everything? Plus one health for everything. We might want to kill that first. And then... We can't one-shot this. Uh, that's actually kind of a problem. Now that I look at it. That rock is going to be in the way if I try to push this away from the building. Oh, I do have... 
I do have the don't harm buildings thing. So we can just do it like this. There we go. Not too bad. This looks manageable. This looks slightly less manageable. damage this and free Veldak, and then we can ignore the Leaper if we want to. One or three. But we have to go through something first to deal three damage. This is basically on one health already if we don't count bumps. Because the acid makes it take uh, plus two damage, I think. Oh, doubles damage. Okay. That scale's different. I definitely need to kill this. I could jump over, deal with these two, and then... Veldak over here first, actually. So we're going to block this spawn. Seems good. Oh, that's... Nope, never mind. That was looking very convenient. This is also looking pretty convenient. For the most part. Except we can't move first. Um, I can deal with both of these with... Holy crap, 8 damage. Yeah, I can actually... Nope, never mind. Veldak would... I mean, Abe would still be webbed. I can deal with these two with one shot. Veldak is free to do whatever Veldak likes. And then we'll just... delete this. And we're good. Okay. Plus three grid death. That's like the worst skill. It doesn't influence anything that prevents the Vec from actually getting a shot on the buildings. That's rather disappointing. But hey, technician plus armored, that's huge. I definitely... Well, we're going for a difficult mission anyway. I don't want to defend the train. And I do want the defense lab that'll give us a reactor core. So the choice is very, very easy. Oh, I wanted to swap these around. Damn it. Never mind. That's a lot of health. It's a lot, a lot of health. Oh, we have the acid launcher. That's going to make things easier. But we have to destroy all the mountains. That's going to take two turns from the acid launcher. So twice we get to kill everything in, like, a crisscross area. Which is looking like it's going to be very, very useful. I might actually want to start Abe back here so that he's going to be able to leap. Oh, and we have a pod? 
So we get two power cores, best case. Okay. I think the first turn is... The first action is pretty obvious. We're not going to be able to... do better. Oh, we also get more XP, by the way. Not that it matters right now. But when you can kill things when they've got extra health, you actually get extra XP out of it. If we can kill this... Uh, this will die. But I don't think we have the action economy for it. Actually, I don't know how we're going to deal with... This is actually still looking pretty bad. In fact, if I use the shield on this, it's going to destroy the building. And I can't pull, I can only push. This thing's going to attack this. Uh... It sounds crazy, but maybe I should have put this here instead. I might even have to reset my turn for it. If I damage this, this probably dies. If I put this here, that doesn't really help that much. Unless... This will be pushed here, so it'll block the tank from going here. I think I might have to use my reset. Do I remember what was here? Uh, like three things that have a lot of health, right? The spawner for this, an artillery thing, and something else. But were they all attacking buildings? Or something? Hmm. Alright, we're gonna use the reset. This guy, we can ignore. This guy, we can't. We're probably going to end up doing the same thing again. Want idea? Uh, I think I'm good. So what do we do instead? We could kill these two. Move Valdak first. Valdak does this. Neutralizing this thing and dealing a lot of damage to this thing. And then Abe, uh, I was going to have Abe like jump over here, but it's going to destroy the time pod. Abe could maybe jump here to kill these, or to kill this one. We could have the artillery do something like this first. I think I like where that's going. Artillery does this. Jump goes here to kill that. This thing is now irrelevant. Veldak goes here. Oh, the rock is still going to be there. Uh... Okay. That doesn't help. I definitely want to... Ah, uh, jeez. Shoot this. Move Veldak here. Use the acid launcher. Kill these. 
Abe can now move. Abe can go land here. Which is going to kill this guy. And finish off this guy, I think, because Valdak is going to get him down to two. Yeah, I think that's the play. And this thing is going to take double damage in the future as well. We got there eventually. That was maybe the trickiest turn this run so far. And now we've got one of the easiest turns we could possibly ask for. Uh, Alright, so we're definitely going to spend this one... Removing mountains. Um, you can kill this outright. You can kill this outright. I can't move Veldak down to deal with the Scion so that we can cover more of these uh, spawn tiles. But that's okay. Pretty good, thank you. I would love to put acid on some of these tiles where enemies are going to spawn, but we can't afford the action economy. If we want all of the bonuses. Uh, I don't think it's going to help all that much, but I could do this. very unlikely that that's going to lead to getting three shots out of the acid launcher that's aimed at Vec. I think we shoot this here, acid this, and then these two... Uh, I'm not sure. Probably punch... No. Hmm, that's actually trickier than expected because we don't have the punch anymore. I can kill this outright, Veldak can move freely. We can push this into the acid. Uh, and more importantly, this uh, evil blah will be able to fire. That's probably fine. And then... I'm sure we're going to get more value than this next turn out of the acid launcher. So let's get rid of the mountains. Four enemies, three actions. This one wasted its turn, this one wasted its turn. And that should be easy to deal with. Fantastic. Also, we can do this. Not the most difficult turn we've had. Uh, Duke, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We got a def uh, we got two reactor cores now, and what is this? Grid assault. Any class overload the grid, causing a building to damage and push an adjacent tile. What? That's so weird. Doesn't cost any power. Plus one, plus two damage. Uh, can we test this? So we have to choose the direction. Can we do it just anywhere? Oh, we can. 
That could actually be huge. There's no, like, cardinal directions or anything. We can just make any building attack at a range of one tile. And it only costs two power to get three damage. Uh, and it does knockback, I think. Um, can we, like... Test the knockback. Yeah, knockback. That's very interesting. <laughs> A bit different. I'm really liking uh, the equipment that we've got, though. I did want to swap those around. We could get this up to three damage. It's pretty expensive, though. I'd really like more damage from this tank. Plus two power, we could do it right now. I can't sell things until the end of the uh until the end of the island. I think we'll go for this. And I'll probably go for the plus one damage on the AP cannon. Next. Block Vex spawning three times, protect the coal plant, conveyor belts. The conveyor belts do have a habit of making the Vex miss, but I don't love the layout of this level. This is not great either. Defend the VIPs. Oh no. Defend the power plants. We don't get any rep for that. Which doesn't lead to more power cores. Reactor cores. I think we're going for the VIPs mostly because of the rep reward. Can we move them? Uses two. Hit the gas. Near empty tank. Near empty gas tank only allows for two move actions. Uh, does, does it mean it can only move twice in the whole thing? Well, we're gonna find out. Another pod? I don't remember them getting so common. I love that the, uh, what are they called? Mosquitoes are actually healing us by trying to attack or trying to smoke us. Two uses per battle. The civilian truck can move. It's why that smoke ability is so good, yeah. Like, that smoke ability, if it was just added to the game before um, Advanced Edition, wouldn't be as good. I think we need to move this thing already. We're just gonna shield bash that one, probably. This guy, we don't actually want to hurt the spore now. We'll probably do this. It would be even better if we could push that over here. Shield bash. Push. I 
Except I want to damage this thing, but I can't without killing the spore. This is fine. Do I want to maybe attack this instead? That might be the way to go. I could deal more damage to it if I push that first. Uh, three plus one, four, we're gonna kill it. I don't actually want to kill it. I want it severely damaged. And then I want it to help us kill this thing. Oh, wait. Oh, cool. The ordering is correct. We're not going to push this away first. Action available. I think you can probably stay here. Or we could get it to pick up the pod for us. And then it'll have more movement possibilities next time. And go. Fantastic. Kill this outright, I think. That's not going to help. This is going to help. Actually, as a matter of fact, this is going to deal with both of these two. We're also going to block this Vec from spawning. And I am a derp because I can't reach to do something about this guy. If I had one more movement speed on the sit on top, uh, we'd be fine. Alright, reset. Do we have four damage? We don't. Well, we need five damage anyway. I could just kill this outright. Push this onto here. I can't just push it. I don't have a punch. Shield bash this, it cancels its attack. That's not quite what I'm looking for. I do want to do this if I can. And then this guy has no angle. The artillery mech is going to have to just push the alpha scarab. Yeah, I think that's how that goes. Undo all the moves. Push you. And... Murder this. And then... Oh, these guys could potentially use their... Hit the gas, that's all. can ignore that. Wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me. Can we speed up these animations? Is that in the options? Combat speed. Okay, we're gonna crank this a bit. Uh, no, we can move. Night Dancer, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We can kill this outright. We could jump away from it. It wouldn't kill this before it attacked, though. 
Also, this would have to move. We can ignore this guy if we just move out of the way. Um, shield bash this. One, two, three. Punch that out of the way. Move this guy down here. I can actually just kill this outright. I think we'll do it this way. I gotta be careful we don't have a reset. Artillery that. Shield bash this. One, two, three. This is gonna be in the way. I can move it though. So then we're gonna shoot this so it's not gonna damage anything. Oh wait, you're gonna be here. One, two, three, four. That's a problem. Uh, we have a shield, not to mention armor. I could spin this guy around and just ignore these two. That might be the way to go. We could also... Okay, I think I see the play. guys should probably stay where they are okay we can ignore you but if I shoot this, you're going to bump into the building. Uh, if I jump over here, we're going to kill the VIP. We can move him out of the way first. We need to move this VIP after that as well. I could... Oh, I can kill this outright with the AP cannon. That's probably the first thing we're going to do. I can kill this very easily. We kill this. We can ignore this. So we're probably gonna go like shield bash, artillery, shoot, ignore. And we can just do that like so. Don't need any particularly special. Oh, we can ignore that as well. But we're not going to. Fantastic. One more pod. Give me that sweet, sweet reactor power. Where are we going to put it? Probably movement speed on the tank. Definitely movement speed on the tank. And we have one more pick, I believe, before the boss fight. Lock Vex spawning three times. The only way I get the maximum rep is if I do the defend the train mission, but I don't see that going well for us, and we're just going to lose our perfect island bonus. So I think we're going to go for the teleport facility. I want something that can push, because this... Uh, Alpha Digger is going to go here, almost definitely. Probably put... I don't know where the artillery should start, to be honest. Probably up here, closer to our... Um, VIP building. Oh, you're going to miss? It's, a, it's unfortunate this one goes first, because otherwise these two would be neutralized already. Um, 
So this, I believe the conveyors come first. Yeah, environment comes before enemy actions. So you're going to miss, but you would attack first. Three, four, five, six, seven. We can ignore seven if we just get out of the way. Um, I don't know what our artillery is going to do. If we try to get out of the way of that, though. But it would take a whole action to remove it. I could jump here. That seems like a good start. It seems like a very good start. And then we shoot through you to kill that. And then artillery can't quite one-shot this. Or well, not even close, actually. But that's probably fine. We need to block back spawning three times. Uh... Vex spawn happens at the end. So if I put the artillery mech here, we will block one already. We don't want to fall behind on that. Because sometimes you can sort of get a little bit screwed by the RNG. So I th think this is what we're going to do. It doesn't explode, does it? No, we're fine. You're actually going to die before you attack if I leave my mech there. Environment will just bump it in. We could jump here. We'll have to move our mech first. Probably just move it here and repair. We'll block the next uh, spawn. Jump here. And then... If I don't kill this, our artillery mech is dead. I was hoping I'd be able to do more with Veldak but it looks like this will have to do. And then we'll only have to, uh, we'll only have to block one spawn next turn. This game reminds me a little bit of a game I used to play like 30-ish years ago called Metal Marines. Interesting. Phrasing? Wait, what? Just check, Silent Storm. Good to see you again. Well, and welcome. Hope you're doing well. I need to move my tank first. We're always on the verge of killing Veldak if we're not careful. Oh, this is going to get blocked if we just get out of the way. That's fantastic. Let's do this to start with. And then a little bit of this, and a little bit of that, and we're good. And we blocked exactly three spawns. of a perfect island. The spider leader. Oh, I remember this one being not the worst boss, but definitely one of the worst bosses. 
How much is that? Seven hit points? That's with the Scion, though. We're gonna go for a leap to start with, with the Spidertron. Didn't quite work out that way. Oh, that's pretty unfortunate. Actually, I think we're fine. Hmm. That's a uh, problem. I can't get Veldek around here. I don't think it would even help, actually. We definitely need to kill the Scion to get rid of the extra health. Oh, I think I see how we could do that. But you'll still have a hit point left. Hmm. One, two, three, that's not so good. It'd be nice if we could shield the buildings. If I do this, we're going to block a spawn. That's pretty big. It also gets rid of a little spider. And then... Three damage directly. You're going to have four hit points max. Uh, but I don't have the punch. If I do this... That's not going to do it. Maybe if we removed something else first, we could push this away by doing that. Oh. We don't have to kill them. I could do this first. Veldak could go one, two, three, four tiles. And then pierce through... this and hit this. That seems like a decent start. It's a bit of a waste of direct damage, but what are you going to do? And then explode onto that little spider. It's not great for how many enemies we leave on the board, but it does stop all of the damage. We can definitely fix that with one action. Okay, that's looking really good, actually. I think we're going to do the exact same shot with the artillery mech. Get rid of this rock and kill this by dunking it. We're going to launch our hydraulic legs at this tile. This one's going to miss. This one's going to kill the egg. This uh, spiderling is going to die. And as for Veldak... Veldak is going to be able to deal three damage to the boss. I don't think it's going to get much better than that. Not even close, actually. We also get rid of this egg. I could kill... No, I couldn't. I was going to say I could kill both of these, but that's not quite right.
Oh, that was a misplay. I could have blocked the spawn. That could be a big, big misplay. Alright, I think I know what we're doing with this mech. And we'll only have two turns, including this one, to kill the boss. I'd love to push some people into such an acid puddle at work sometimes. Uh-oh. Apart from getting rid of the Scion, this doesn't do that much. Oh, who's getting the damage bonus next turn? Everyone but Abe, I think. Finisher, Finisher. So we kind of need to try to plan two turns here, even though there's a... Uh, an unaccountable element coming up next. I don't have a lot of range of movement here either. Oh, I could turn this around. How much damage is it going to do? Three? Yeah, we can block this. Well, we could ignore it anyway, but we can deal three damage to this. Kill both of the... Okay, I think I see the play. We're going to kill these two. Everything goes down by one health. This, the boss is going to die. This doesn't matter at all. And we can kill this as well. We're going to do it this way so that we have a better range of movement next turn. Am I still alive? Uh, yes. But you kind of got left at a different island because we got better pilots. Sorry, Sigma. Sag. Oh no. This turn looks pretty straightforward. We have to stop three Vec and we've got three actions. Fantastic. But I mean, look at what you're competing with. I've got two pilots with finisher, two pilots with health regeneration, one pilot with armor and health regeneration, another with finisher and health regeneration. Oh, what is this? Adam. On reset turn, gain shield and plus two move. Also plus one mech reactor, that's huge as well. But this is literally the last pick before the final bosses. Um, and we don't want to like be trying to train the pilot in the last part of it. What is this? Guided missile. A projectile that can turn once before hitting its target. Hell yeah. Two damage, one power. Brute class weapon. Uh, that seems huge. Can we test it? So we can fire it straight. We have to fire it in a corner, it looks like. I think it's going to be easier to be able to fire it in a corner, like, more often than it's going to be a problem that we have to make it turn a corner. It's also much more cost effective for the damage. Uh, two power for two damage, or one power for two damage, four power for three, 
one, two, it would cost five power for this to deal three damage. That is a pretty big improvement. I definitely like the AP cannon as well. Oh, smoke line. It's not even... This is already the maximum damage this can do. Three isn't bad, though. And it leaves smoke. Except smoke is something we find useful. Smoke stops the enemy from firing. It doesn't stop us from firing. It also heals us. That is... Really, really good. Alright, let's sell the Taurus Cannon. Let's get probably three Reactor Cores. Stabilizers. Oh, I've seen this. That's pretty minor, honestly, especially when we have regen. Excuse bonuses from Vexion. That's not usually great either. Let's just take the power. Let's make the smoke trail. Um, I think this mech's already basically perfect. Though five movement doesn't go astray, but we can probably spend this a bit better somewhere else. This doesn't get much better either. I would like to get more damage here. That would be all of our reactor cores. If we sell three, we can get one more. We've got exactly three weapons we're not using. I think that's it. Well, I like the skills that some of the pilots get. It's no longer just a matter of, please give me plus one mech move and or plus one power. Uh, because that's like as good as it gets. Yeah, I think this is the way. On to the final island. Actually, I'm going to take a short break. Let's get some words on stream set up. And Veldak says yay. Should I have the music playing, or what do you guys think? All right, where did where where did words go? Oh, here it is. Fantastic. Well, I'm not hearing a lot of music from the game on this screen. All right, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. Let's continue, shall we? Do 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 do. Uh, pause that. And off we go to the volcanic hive. Let's just double check our loadout again, shall we? We got two damage to everything with hydraulic legs. Spartan shield for when we need something a bit more straightforward. A uh, guided missile looks very, very promising. AP cannon still just a little bit beefed up. Artillery mech is almost perfect. Plus one move would be nice, but buildings immune is probably more important if we have four movement. And uh, away we go to the volcanic eye. Alright, so I want to hit this thing. Well, actually, I want to manipulate it into killing its friends more than I want to hit it super hard. So these are our buildings we need to protect. That's not good. That's good. Okay. Our first job is to make room. I could use the shield to block this. I could push this guy over here. We could finish him off with this and kill this with the push from the artillery. That seems like the play, to be honest. Yeah, I think that'll do. Oh, what about... Oh, we can just shoot directly. We just need a target in front of us. Okay. That makes the guided missile... ridiculously good, I think. Yeah, that has to be, like, S tier. All right, let's do this. Oh. Um, it's fine. Don't worry about it. This is fine. There we go. Environment goes first. And now we have these four tiles that are going to kill whatever happens to be on it. We can ignore this guy. We can not ignore these two. Can I maybe do it like this? Push this guy back again. Shield smash. And we're good. So far, so easy. I think I will play it on the highest difficulty next run. Rust didn't go that far for Into the Breach. That could be a problem. What's this? Oh, I remember this guy. I think he makes tentacles appear or something. All players, all player units take one damage at the end of every turn. Considering the regen we've got on everyone but the artillery mech, that almost isn't scary. Um, this guy is a serious problem. Throws these exploding things every single turn. I could damage and destroy these two with that move. Um, all of a sudden we're looking at a pretty difficult turn, actually. If I move the artillery mech first, 
I can one-shot this guy. So what's the artillery mech going to do? It can only deal three damage. It's the only thing it can deal with in one is this. I could shield to swap the direct the attack direction of this one. So if we'd kill this, kill this, turn this around, and that would blow up our our pylons. One, two, three attacks. I could push this thing away. We wouldn't be dealing with either of these two, but we wouldn't take any damage this turn. This guy would be dead, this guy would be damaged. This guy would be making bombs every single turn. And we'll all take one damage. So if we don't deal with the uh, Scion next turn, artillery is going to have a problem. But I think this is probably the way. Oh, I need to remember as well that the tank has the guided missile. I don't think it would have helped. Oh, the smoke maybe. No. It's not like the smoke can... It's not like the missile can just fly through an enemy, right? Alright. Dish me up something where I can do something clever, because I'm going to need it. Okay, that helps. That does not help. Um... So we have one, two, three, four, five. Five separate things we need to deal with, and no way to make one action do two things. Um. That's a problem. These two are attacking the same tiles, so we'll probably have to give up on killing them. I can insta-kill this guy if I push him onto the fire tile. Uh, we're on our last turn, it doesn't actually matter what we kill. We do need to kill this, though, otherwise Evil Pla will die. There's no way to do anything clever with swapping the attack direction of any of these. The four damage... oh, wait. Nope, never mind. I was going to say the 4 damage from some of these is very, very useful, but it's not quite. I could use the missile to kill this guy. I could... Huh. Uh, oh, yes, yes, I can get an angle. I could use the missile to kill this guy outright. And then this would die... And we're not dealing with this one. This is the one we have to deal with the most, because it's threatening four power. This is the one we're probably going to sacrifice, because we it takes at least two actions to save it. Hmm. Alright, let's say we just shoot this or something. Maybe we use the artillery on it. We have to kill this as well. So these two are top priority. Uh, if we do our explosive landing here... Then what? 
Does the environment come before the explosion? Yeah, it does. Oh, it's going to stop the shot. Hello. Okay. No, the environment's going to kill it first. So it's not going to stop this shot. Ah. But if we push this guy... Alright, we push this guy. That is one, two... This is still threatening this, though. Even so... We need one action to stop this. We can stop this and this with one action. And then there's still this, this, and this. Yeah, there's no way. Like, we just have to leave these two to chance. I'm pretty sure this is the best we can do anyway. for some dice rolls. Rip. And rip. We got three health left for the entire run. Which is just one more level, but it could be nasty. Unless they changed something. Maybe there's even more now, but I doubt it. No, I don't doubt it that much. Splat. Victory in five turns, defend the bomb. That's got to be the last level then. Are we already in trouble? I think we are. If we push this guy here, he dies instantly. It'll take one action to deal with him regardless. We could do it like this. Or... Like this. It's probably better. Um, I could go over here. It's not going to help. Could explodey jump here. This guy will die. Okay. Explodey jump. Kills this, weakens this. This guy goes here, finishes the two of them, or just the one actually. Although, yeah, no, we're going to have, I hate this, we're going to have to leave the blobber up, and that's what wrecked us last time. Um, and we have to use the artillery to stop either this or this, which the choice is pretty obvious, I think. Um, maybe we do explodey jump and then we artillery to kill this, which also blocks a vec coming up. And then we use our one remaining action not on the boss, but on this thing. Uh, unless there's a way to kill the boss with the tank to 
doesn't look like it. If I push this here, it's going to die and block a vec. These two will kill both of these because this one goes first and then this one goes here. That's not what we're looking for. I could push this, shoot that. It would die. This would take one damage. And we'd, we'd be down to two on the power grid. So if we have one more hit on a double, that's it. But these would be gone forever. And then we've got these two to deal with the rest. We do an explodey jump. That dies. That's aimed at the thing that'll only make it deal one damage. And then the artillery can kill this. I think that's what we have to do. The environment will kill it first. Okay, that's it. We're gonna have one hit point unless we have, unless we high roll on this. We do high roll on this. The, the odds that that hit point will make a difference is pretty low. But we've actually got two attacks that we can ignore. Um, I can bump this guy into dying immediately. What are we doing with the rest of our time? Probably kill this. Hey, Fritley. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What is this game? It is called Into the Breach. And it relatively recently had a big content patch for free. Uh, it's turn-based with almost no RNG when you're taking your turn. Uh, pretty much all of the RNG is like, what enemies are you going to be facing next turn? Or what kind of missions do you have? And we can see everything that the enemies are going to do. Uh, and we can basically preempt it. I think I'm just going to kill this directly. No. I got to kill this, otherwise we'll lose our artillery mech. Oh, this might be better. That doesn't make a difference. I have to remember this new weapon that we've got. Free damage and it turns corners and leaves smoke. Three damage isn't that much these days. The smoke helps us though. Alright, let's do this. Jump. Kill this one. Oh. I could have done that in a better order. Victory in three turns. I think we're using a reset on this. Alright. Kill that. Move this guy over here. And kill this outright and block a spawn. Alright. 
So how many attacks do we have to stop? One, two, three. That is relatively mild, but the positioning is looking rather complicated. Or not complicated so much as just very, very unfortunate. Uh, this will stop one of them and damage the other. And we could explodey jump onto here to finish it off and, oh wait, kill ourselves actually. That's probably not what we're looking for. Um, it'll push the rock. So... Yeah, 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 this is the play. I gotta be careful, we've used our reset. We're gonna shoot this directly, push this guy off of his target, move the rock out of the way, explodey jump onto this, which is gonna destroy the rock, damage this guy, destroy that rock, He'll be down on uh, one health. Uh, this guy will be dead. Which is not as good as if he was on one health to block this Vec from coming up, but what can you do? And then I'll block this and we'll use the guided missile to get our ally, uh, to get our teammate rather low on health actually, but it's fine. It's worth it. And then we have one, two, three, four enemies to deal with. Hopefully we can stop them with three actions. That's not looking great. We can get this guy down to one health and kill this. Um, we can turn this guy around, turn this guy around. We can one-shot anything but this with the artillery mech or the tank. I don't see a way to get two actions out of one. Oh, wait. This guy goes first. So if I can turn him around... It's going to take two actions to deal with two of these. If I go for that. Um, I could sacrifice a mech to block a shot as well. If I could move... One, two, three, four, five, six. Six tiles. We can do it. We've got six movement this turn. Uh, Veldak? I need you to make a heroic sacrifice. Literally to win the game. I'm sorry, Veldak. Unsub unfollow? No! <laughs> That was pretty close. Now let's try it on the hardest difficulty, I guess. It was literally your sacrifice that made this possible. Where he was saying that he wished he could do more with you. Oh no. I'll take it. I am hero. See, there you go. <laughs> Select one pilot to continue. It's... Uh, Evil Plow was good, but 
Abe. Uh, we got the three grid death. Technician plus armored was insane. But actually, I think, especially early in the game, finisher and mech move. I was, I was leaning towards Abe, but no, Evil Pla is definitely who we're starting with this run. All right, what can we unlock? Watery Grave, Island Secure. We got nine coins or whatever. Name in, name a pilot, name a mech. Okay, let's find out what we're going to name. Um, so all of these on the first page are from the base game. We're going to start unlocking whatever we can over here. Heat sink. What do you guys think? Should we do a poll? Or just a like a people spam chat? We got heat sinkers, arachnophiles, hazardous mechs, frozen titans, bomber mechs, mist eaters, and cataclysm. Pilot equals hacks, mech equals coffin? Oh no. Bomber? With a small army of remote explosives and flexible weapons, the tactical options are endless. You can be a hero too. <laughs> okay. Cataclysm sounds funny. Armed with RST earth-shattering technology, these mechs can turn the very land against their foes. Should we vote? Uh, where is it? Predictions? No, that's not. Oh yeah, prediction works. Uh, I can add as many as I want, right? No? Yeah, I can. Okay, so we got... Frozen Titans, Bomber Mix... I might have to write this down at this rate. Prediction is not equal to vote. Uh, oh yeah, true, true. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could do an RNG. Or we could just go the bombers. I'm kind of curious. Oh, we got the AP cannon. We're familiar with this one. That was good. And then we have a ranged. What is that? Launch a walking bomb. Unused bombs dismantle after the enemy turn. Interesting. We got a science ship. Force a nearby unit to swap places with any other unit. To make it heal the allies and hurt the enemies. Alright, let me scroll up for the names. We got... Pilot name and mech name from Veldak. Hacks and Coffin. Okay, I see how it is. Evil Pla is is still with us. Uh Oh it has five movement. Wow. That's huge. How do I there we go. Often. We'll have to wait to name the pilot. Uh, and then we've got S. Jones, name a pilot. Alright, I'll have to just start the game first, I think. And we're going to go unfair difficulty, all of the advanced content. Go.
and we can start on any island we want. I'll probably start with Detritus Disposal, because sometimes we get the uh, uh, the Acid Launcher making up for our lack of damage in the early game. All right, so this is Hax in the coffin. And this is S. Jones, was it? S. Jones. In the exchange mech. Alright, away we go. Block Vex spawning three times, protect the coal plant conveyor belts. That sounds like maybe the easiest mission we could get. Definitely not this one. And what's the other option? Destroy the Acid Storm Controller? Underground Acid Storage is leaked into a Storm Control Unit. Okay. Destroy two Vec Egg Sacks. I think this is going to be the easiest start. And... Where are we going to put things exactly? Probably here has the most chance of doing the piercing thing. I actually really like the, uh, what is it called? The AP cannon as a secondary, but when it's by itself, it's going to make things a lot more complicated. All right, away we go. That's good for us. That's good. That's okay, that's a little bad. Um, so how does this work exactly? I should have tested it. Launch a walking bomb, unused bombs dismantle after the enemy turn. Does it have to like... I don't understand the walking part. I can't target it directly onto an enemy, I presume. This is not the greatest environment to be trying to figure it out. What's the targeting like of this like? Force a nearby unit to swap places with any other unit. No target available. Okay, I, I literally have to walk right up to it. But I can just have it swap places with anything, anywhere. That's very interesting. Okay, so there's only... I can move this, right? Yeah. There's only two targets that we actually have to kill or move. I can't kill anything with Evil Pla unless... Oh, this is perfect. We're going to knock it onto the conveyor belt. It's going to block a Vec from coming up. We'll almost definitely go for that to start with. And then... I could swap these two. Except I have to be able to stand there first. So swap those two. This guy's going to die. This guy's going to miss. And then I'll shoot a bomb over here as well. Perfect. Oh, and now the bomb. Detonate the walking bomb. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. It's not as powerful as I might have expected, but... Two bombs. How does that work? It just literally spits out two of them? Interesting. Alright. Oh, and you damaged this as well. I didn't even mean to do that. I mean... 
I mean calculated, exactly as planned. Uh, okay. We've got three targets. We don't have three things that deal damage. I can't deal damage with Evil Pla with the Pierce mech unless we pierce something, and that's a bit of a problem. I could swap. Uh, I could swap Evil Pla if I could get to him, or I could swap something else with Evil Pla. Might be the way to go. I think I see the play. Swap this with Evil Pla. Evil Pla can... Coffin can go here. Evil Pla can shoot through it, kill that. Coffin can shoot a bomb. Bomb explodes over here. And then... And then... Uh, S. Jones is going to block this effect from coming up as well. And this guy's not going to do anything useful this turn. And then... bomb. Fantastic. And we just need to block one more Vec. This set of mechs is very different. Interesting. Uh, you're gonna block this if you live, but you're not gonna live. You're just gonna die straight away. And because of the way the bombs work, we don't need to move the coffin. Could I just kill this outright? I can... I can move S. Jones. We can block this one. Do we need to do a swap? I don't think so. I think you can pre-damage spawning enemies with the bomb. Oh, you can block them with the bomb. There's a thought. I don't think it automatically detonates. Any time? You can only manually detonate it, I think. But you could block something from coming up, yes. Question is how I'm going to get value out of the Pierce Cannon. And I think... I think I see it. It's actually pretty easy. And we can just repair S. Jones. Let's find out. Um, I'm pretty sure the bombs like won't do anything if left like this. And it looks like when they explode, they don't when they self-destruct, they don't, like, explode properly. Yeah. Uh, and that is... Victory. A good start. What do we have down here? Use the detritus contraption four times. What is the detritus contraption? Its aiming algorithms have yet to be perfected. Uh-oh. I think I remember seeing this map with the, uh, the acid launcher before. But now we've got this detritus launcher. And it scares me. Let's find out how it goes. P 
piercing should probably be here, maybe. Pod incoming? That just fills me with confidence with this inaccurate detritus launcher. At least it's helping us not have the Vec crowd us too much, maybe. So how does this work? We need to use it every turn. We've got Missile Barrage, fires a missile at every unit. Allies and Vec. One damage each. Well, that's going to be pretty effective, but first we need to kill the Shell Scion that's giving everything armor. Well, all of the Vec, anyway. Uh, what about this other thing? Give a shield to every unit, allies, and Vec. Oh boy. This is, um... This is gonna be real easy to use four times... in four turns. Especially as we've got one, two, three, four, five attacks lined up at our grid. I don't have anything that deals more than one damage except the piercing cannon and I can't line it up. Oh, yes, I can. All right, this is going to have to happen. For starters. And then we're going to damage everything. And then... And then what? Does swapping help us? I don't see how... If I could get a unit here and swap it with this guy... It, it's not happening though. We can't bump anymore. I need to repair S. Jones before I use the missile barrage again, or give him a shield. But the shield is not looking in our favor right now. I can kill one of these little guys, and that's about it. I don't think there's much better I could have done this turn, either. It's just a really tough first turn. Maybe if I'd positioned the mechs a little differently, but we still got like... You know, I couldn't position them this far forward and we got like a line of Vec over here and then this guy up here and this guy here as well. There's absolutely nothing I can do with the force swap right now. Let's just bring him somewhere more central. Well, close to Vec, that is. It's a pretty rough start, but it doesn't affect our bonus objectives. Okay, we can kill... Two. And then finish this with the piercing cannon. One, two, three, four tiles. That's not great. Oh, this is the piercing cannon. That should be fine. Luckily, the smoke doesn't stop this thing from firing. And then piercing cannon goes here. Uh, and we're going to move and repair. And I could either throw a bomb to block one of these, or I could stand on it and repair. 
The only difference it makes is positioning. And that is something of a significant difference. All right, so we have one enemy left, three, four coming up. That's kind of scary. Uh, we can shield everything, but we should definitely kill this first. Unless we're going to use it to block the enemies coming up, but we're trying to use the shields both this turn and next turn. It doesn't work on the buildings, I don't think. Every unit... Um, why don't we just start? We can't do that. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Start with one damage here. And then the only way we deal any more damage is with the little bomb. Wait, 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 wait. We should, uh... Okay, we are going to give it a shield. And we're going to have it attack thin air and go backward and block this uh, Vec from spawning. That should be fine. Shield everything. We're still going to lose the uh, walking bomb, but that's okay. Better to have a one health enemy here than whatever's going to come up here. Especially because the bouncer is quite weak. Okay. And then we want to push you, we want to ignore you pretty much. I could swap something so this dies. That should be fine. It doesn't knock it back, does it? Oh, it does. Also, we're going to shield everything, so what do I mean, so it dies? It did explode it. Uh, but did it do, did it deal AoE? I don't think it did, because the mountain is unhurt. Hmm. We can ignore this one. And we can ignore this one. So we just have to... Like, swap these two. Can we get more XP? Probably, definitely yes. We'll shoot this, or we could use a bomb. Actually, I'm really curious. Um, what happens if we make a bomb, give it a shield, and then explode it? Wait. Oh no, I messed up. Uh, that was of subnormal intelligence. Okay. It still dies. I'm not shocked by that. Well, we're going to take one more grid damage. A uh, 0% defense. Huh. Well then. There's no RNG to save us here. The shield on the bug is gone. Yeah, I noticed. Alright, well, that was gruesome, but we're still on track for a perfect for the island. We got our core. Now, where should we use it? Three power for two bombs that deal one damage to things. That's 
that doesn't seem great. Uh, heal ally sounds really good. How much does hurt enemy do? One damage. It's not a whole lot. It's a full heal though. Wow. I think we need more damage from the cannon, but we can't get it just yet. But giving uh, giving the pierce mech more movement definitely won't hurt in the meantime. This is going to be a pretty tough set of mechs to use early on because there's so little damage. I think we have to go for the venting fields. So we have to destroy this thing and the two eggs. What is it exactly? Does it attack us or anything? Or is it just sitting there with th three hit points is actually a lot right now. Oh, it's got acid on it? Alright, so we deal double damage to it. It's actually like two hit points, if that. Alright. And the swapper... I don't know. Here. Okay. So everyone's covered in acid. Um, I could put a splody bomb here. Can I move? I can. It's fine. How far can the bomb move? Three tiles. That's actually really good. So we're going to explode here. This is going to be down to one hit point. What is this? Oh! Uh, everything is covered in acid, which negates the uh, shell scion, giving, it, giving everything armor. That's good. Alright, so that's dead. This is going to bump itself onto the spawn tile. And it's going to block the next Vex spawn. Uh, we need to kill this right quick. That's actually still a problem. Uh, okay, we're going to swap these two, I think. If the bouncer wasn't in the way, I would have Evil Plow shoot through the building to kill this. But we're not able to do that right now. Instead... Yeah, no. Uh, instead, I'm going to swap the passive for this guy. I'm just going to kill one of the Vec eggs for us. And that just leaves Evil Plot. Who's going to shoot the other egg? We're going to have an awful lot of Vec still on the field, but... We know exactly what we're dealing with next turn, and we don't have to worry about the eggs anymore. It's actually only two enemies that can attack. That's not an awful lot. We still need to destroy this thing, though. The storm controller. I probably want to do it on the last turn, because if it's making everything acidic all the time, um, it kind of helps us. Because our damage is so low. And then... And then what? Not sure how to deal with you. 
If I had a mech that I could get in the water and swap it, that would be very helpful. Oh, I know. We're just gonna explode this. And then swap these two. Make sure we're standing on the opposite side. This is gonna miss, and then it's gonna die to Vex spawn. So we've got two turns left, two enemies that we have to deal with. And we also have to kill this somehow. Oh, I just thought of something. We've got the reset turn. This is definitely the time to try it. All right, we're going to put a bomb about here. We're going to move it over here, and then we're going to take the Alpha Bouncer and swap it with the bomb. Yes, perfect. And then what? I still need to kill this, preferably. We could probably do better without actions. I could just bump this away, but next turn we're dealing with one, two, three, four threats. So I think we should try to make this turn better. The bomb is the only thing that I can get here, though. And it has to be A3 that we swap this, either one of these two. I could just back away from it and it'll block a Vec from coming up. And I could shoot this thing dead in one go. Okay, I think I see the play. Actually, maybe not. I want Evil Plot here to shoot through here to kill the Storm Generator. I don't know what I want to do with the bomb, but I want to be able to swap this guy into here, probably. If I do that with Evil Plot first... Wait, can we swap something with... I don't think so. We can't swap something with the mech itself. I could put a bomb there. That would probably be the way to go. Swap these two. Uh, this guy's gonna be dead. This guy's gonna be dead as well, actually. We're going to block whatever's coming up here. This guy will be on three health and acidified. We're going to block this, and we're going to have one mystery enemy coming up. And the bomb? Uh, could actually go here. That's even better. Fantastic. And then we just have one enemy to deal with. We got Finisher on Evil Plur. Oh, we had that from last playthrough. Uh, so three damage, is it? But we don't have Acid on this guy. That's okay. We don't need no stinking Acid. And 
there it is. Alright, we have one more mission to pick. I think the choice is pretty obvious. Uh, we don't want the high threat ones. We don't want the low reward one, probably. Unless this one looks really nasty. Defend the VIPs. We've got lots of water. Lots of acid. Terrain, the shape of the buildings and stuff probably isn't that bad. I think this is what we're going for. Uh, we've got two alphas and shell. That's... That's kind of spooky. I definitely want to be able to step mechs into the water so that we can swap them into the water. It's probably how we're going to deal with the alpha that isn't flying. Oh, that one's going to kill itself. Good start. Um... So I'm thinking Evil Pla goes into the water. We swap Evil Pla with the Alpha Bouncer. It dies. Evil Pla shoots through this building, kills the Scion. And then you're gonna miss. I'm gonna have to move this VIP away. Wait, is the VIP on water there? No. So first thing I'm going to do is get the VIP out. And we can ignore this guy. We have to kill this somehow. Or something. I don't think we can. I think it, we have to let it have an attack. Okay. Swap. Shoot. I probably could have sh No, I couldn't have shot this instead. Because I can't move after this. Or before. And then we just... Deal one damage to this thing. It's the best we can do right now. You're probably staying there. And we're down to our last unit of power. Alright. This is three damage. Um... This only needs one damage. This needs four. We can't swap the mosquitoes into the water. This guy's gonna go first as well. I think we have to swap this one. Here? Unless I can get someone to walk over there. We could put a bomb here, swap it with this guy. He'll kill this. And then one, two, three. I don't think the bomb can go through water. It could block this. Probably stand here instead. Oh, the bomb's gonna be up here. Duh. That's fine.
and we're gonna shoot this. And that's pretty much everything. Oh, that could be bad. That's fine. That's probably fine. That's not fine. That's not fine at all. Hmm. If I shoot through this, we deal with that threat. No, we don't. We end the game instead. I could push either of these. I could push this into blocking something. I could explode this with a bomb. And I could... I would like to get something into the water with the swap. But I don't see how I could do that and everything else as well. I can't put a bomb in the water. Um, and I can't fire from in the water so that I can also get a bomb. I think we bomb this, push this, and swap this with what exactly? This guy? So that he kills, or almost kills this? We're just going to have to do some self-damage with the bomb, unless we swap with the bomb first. Oh wait, we can... If we swap with the bomb first, the bomb is going to kill this, but do we care? We're not going to get three damage on the Alpha Mosquito if we do that. But then this is not going to be alive anymore, so that's probably going to work out better if not the same with the action economy. Hey Dada Gnome, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Have you played this before? Have you played this before the update? Yes, quite a while ago. How's the update itself? I love it. It's uh, it's giving us some very interesting and different uh, different problems. All right, so one, two, three, no. I'll probably just put this here, to be honest. No, I don't think I should. Bomb goes here. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, I was right the first time. So we're going to put this here. We're going to bomb ourselves in order to kill this. We're going to swap these two. So this guy is going to be on one health next turn. And we're going to push this guy in order to save that building and block the Vex spawn. So next turn we're dealing with uh, two enemies on one health that both deal a lot of damage and one mystery enemy. Alright, everything's on one health. And... That's looking like a problem. Uh, that's... Alright, first I bomb this, perhaps. And then Evil Park can push this. And this guy can just move. That's good enough. We only have two damage dealers. We can do a swap, but... Something has to be in the water already. Uh, and we would have to do it with something that's... 
grounded. I don't think it's getting better than this, probably. And then... Just move the car. Or we could just swap this with something. Either way. Victory. Fantastic. We got probably the worst skill. On S. Jones, unfortunately. Alright, we, we don't have any, like, upgrade paths we can do before to try and prepare. We just have to go. Six movement on the PS mech is quite good. I don't know how we're going to kill, especially because there's a shell scion as well. If this thing doesn't walk into acid, I don't know how we're going to kill it. I would put my mechs here to block it so that it has to, but that's just not going to happen. It has three movement. It can go this far. I would love to, like, put a mech here to tempt it to come over here. Wait, no, that won't get it acidified either. We can't swap it with bombs that are standing on the puddles because I think the puddles just get sucked up. This is looking really bad. Well, let's try and make something of it. And probably the swapper over here. Okay, that's about what I expected. Oh, hello. So you deal damage to the three tiles in front of you. And then get pushed back one. If I swap it with say, Evil Pla, I could get it acidified, and we only need to deal two damage to it to kill it. These two are not going to do anything. In fact, you're going to bump into the boss if I don't move the boss. That's actually good for us. can't even kill the Leaper with a bomb because of the armor. If I put a bomb like here, we could shoot through it with the AP cannon so that we could kill the, uh, the passive. But I wanted to use the bomb to swap the boss somewhere. Actually, I can't reach the boss to swap him. I guess it'll have to wait at least one turn. Also, the Pierce mech is going to have to get acidified in order to do this, but I think it's worth... Unless we swap? I could swap it. No, we're going to die if we do that. Swap an enemy in front of the boss? Yeah, that too. I could swap this enemy with Evil Pla, and next turn it'll be acidified, and also the boss will hit it. Uh, S. Jones will get acidified, but that's not that big of a deal. Bump damage doesn't care about acid. And everything, literally everything here does at least two damage, so it literally makes no difference. And then... Evil Plow will have a path to kill this in one shot. If 
by shooting through a bomb. I don't want to send the bomb to the acid, but maybe we have to. Can evil pla... Maybe we just have to acidify everything. I could move here, put the bomb here. I would have to shoot through the bomb before it moves if I'm going to move the bomb somewhere useful afterwards. So evil pla is going to have to get acidified. Probably here is the way to go. And I got an achievement for that. And then we're just going to move the bomb over here. Build this thing. Alright, so this guy's one shot except for bumps. The boss hasn't been scratched. That's not great. We're definitely going to have to swap the boss. This guy's not going to do anything useful. Um, this guy's not going to do anything useful. So we have two things we have to take care of. I could just kill this thing outright with a bomb. It would also half kill this. That's not that bad, actually. I really, really, really want to get acid on the boss. Um, I could put... If I put the boss here, it's going to get... It's going to end the game when it destroys this. Uh, if I put the boss here... It's not that great. I could kill this directly. We could bomb this. And then this would still be ready to end the game. Should probably focus on the things that are going to attack. It's pretty tricky, actually. Alright, throw a bomb here. Swap it with the boss. Move the bomb, blow up here. Boss gets acidified without damaging anything. And then we have Evil Pla to push this guy. He's not going to block the spawn, but at least he's not going to damage anything. I think that's the play. Oh, and... But it doesn't matter. I can leave S. Jones standing here. I guess the one damage from the bombs could make all the difference. Uh, the acid could make all the difference on S. Jones, but hopefully it won't come to that. Uh, and we actually can... Oh, this is going to be worth it. It's going to kill both of them. Nice. So now we just need two damage on the boss. Why is the mosquito not doing anything? What's his movement for? I guess it couldn't reach anything? No, it should have. Okay, I think we just kill the boss directly. Uh, probably... I would like to swap this guy onto a tile where... Where it's going to block something. I don't know if we can. What are we going to do with a bomb? Probably put it on a tile where it's going to block something and then scratch this guy. Yeah, I think that's the way.
Uh, we can't do both. It's fine. It's like one damage on something with four health that we're never going to kill. And then we swap this. Oh. No, never mind. We're definitely not detonating the bomb. That would end the game. I am of suboptimal intelligence. Let's reset the turn. And I think we just start with this. That should be fine. Should probably put the bomb on the closer spawn as well. It's gonna make the uh, the actions of whatever comes out of here or here a bit more manageable. Oh, that's gonna be easy. This is fine. And this is not quite fine, but I could push this guy here and he's gonna kill this for me. That's the that's the whole turn. Unless we can do better, which I don't honestly care too much about. I don't think we can do better. I can make this guy dunk himself, but we're already gonna kill him. And we can't kill anything else, I don't think. We've got like Plus one damage this turn, which, I mean, this is the only push I have, so we need to push this guy here. And that's the turn. Okay. Perfect Island, if you ignore the fact that we almost lost the game. Who is this? Morgan Lejeune. Mech gains boosted on kill? Are you serious? That seems good. Bombing run, that seems really good as well. All in bombers dealing damage to every tile in a row or column. I could see that being a little bit situational. We do get a use out of the uh, conservative um, skill if we take that. We can make buildings immune. And we could get it all the way up to three uses. It also doesn't cost any power to use immediately. Uh, and we're lacking damage. That's actually really, really big. I kind of want this... Um, I kind of want this pilot. It's actually a really tough choice. This thing's not going to scale into the end game that well, because it only ever does two damage. But... It means we can have damage from all three of our mechs. Name a pilot? Okay. I would have to take the pilot. <laughs> But it is a really good pilot, and it's one experience off gaining another skill. I feel like I'm in, I'm going to end up wanting to swap this out as well, eventually. But not this. Boosted on kill, that's actually kind of huge. I think we're taking it. And, uh, who should we... Probably hacks. Uh, I might put myself in this mech. 
because that conservative skill is doing literally nothing for us. And Hex is closer to leveling as well. Alright, we got as many as three reactor cores, unless we really, really want to buy one of these things. Acid tank isn't bad, but don't particularly want to spend something on even more zero damage with this uh, with this team. Flood drill, any class? What? You're joking. Convert any liquid tile into a hole, spreading the liquid to adjacent tiles. Okay, now we have a uses per battle that's very, very significant. Conservative just got better, lol. Yeah, it's really, it really depends. Obliterax, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think this has got to be, we need one power just to use it. But still, it, it won't kill anything that's flying, but like... If it's not flying, th this is this has to be the pick. There's no way we can just triple down on cores when we've got that available. All right, S. Jones is back in here. Let's get some blood drill, and then oh, this was uh, Sigma Bean. Let's test this thing. Wait, what? Can I not? Oh, it has to be water already? Ooh. That... Okay, yeah. We don't need, like, a cardinal direction or anything, though. We can just do this wherever. Wherever there's water. Okay. It doesn't kill buildings? That's something. There does have to be water there as well. Alright. It's still good. It's still pretty good, to be honest. Uh, we're not getting plus two bombs for a while, I think. I could get plus one damage on this, seems really, really good. Five mech movement is still huge. And then we can't get enough rep for another reactor core. Uh, even if I sell myself. Uh, I think we have to spend the corporate rep though, it doesn't carry over to the next island. So we'll get plus two grid power. Maybe I should sell myself. We got really low on grid. No, I should save it. If I am going to sell myself, it's going to be for weapons. Don't take that out of context. All right, who's next? Probably the RST Corporation, because... We didn't get at this island, really, but there's uh, there's another super weapon over here. It sometimes makes it easier. Defend the prototype Renfield bombs, protect the defense lab. I think we'll probably end up taking that, because it's almost as good as getting a perfect for the whole island. Just the fact that we get a reactor core. But I want to try and level up first. End with less than four mech damage, protect the coal plant, windstorm. That sounds pretty reasonable. Okay, what is that? Starfish. Brittle appendages, damage for oblique tiles. Okay. And this one deals three. 
Nope, this one only deals two. What's its movement speed? Three. So this one's going to go here, unless I block it. We're definitely doing that. Actually, I want to put the swapper here, and then put another mech close to the water. So we can dunk them in the water. Also, I foresee getting some value out of that uh, water drill. So these three are going to do nothing, effectively. Um, we've got temporary conveyor belts, effectively. Do I have a way to pull this guy? Probably not. Um, I can drill here, that won't accomplish much yet. I mean, it will keep a vec from emerging. It'll also mean this guy has to go around and can't attack anything next turn. What's the attack order? So these two are going to move first. He's still not going to do anything next turn. Hmm... I'm thinking... shoot this. Move this here. Swap these two. That's only going to deal one damage, that's fine. Yeah, I think this is the play, question mark? And then we want a bomb. One, two, three. I want to block this. Actually, that's not going to work, because it's going to get killed by this. Oh, wait, I see. No, I don't. Environment would push it here, then this would attack, and then it wouldn't block something from emerging. Um, are we just going to use it for damage? I could try using it to help block this guy. This, this thing has two hit points. I think we'll just damage it. Oh. Oh, oh, I messed up. Good thing I bought power. Okay. This thing's actually in a useful position despite the wind. That's unfortunate. This thing's going to destroy the objective. This guy's doing nothing. How does Coffin have so much health? Oh, because he got plus two. Maybe... Not Coffin. Uh, Sigma Bean. <laughs> I should rename this mech. Well, no, I can't. Maybe Sigma Bean should be... Should probably be in the Pierce mech, actually. Um... Hmm. If I put... Oh, I know what I want to do. I want to put a bomb here. Swap this guy here, and then... I can't swap and use the Flood Drill on the same turn, though. I might have to use the Flood Drill to kill this. Uh, 
and then kill this maybe that's not gonna help anything I definitely need to push this guy. Can I even do that? Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Indeed. I think I need to swap this guy and this guy. So he's going to do nothing useful. He's going to do nothing useful. We actually could ignore the big starfish this turn. Oh, but I need to... Uh, I need the flood drill. I can't swap as well. What can Evil Plot do right now? Probably just kill this outright is the way to go. Except... One, two, three, four, five. All of a sudden, six movement makes all the difference. I could kill this with one damage with a bomb, but Evil Pla can't push this. Uh, I think we're going to back down to one health. This is going to get pushed and it's going to damage this. It needs to die. I could put a bomb here so we damage this as well. I could block this as well. And then we need to swap this somewhere. Oh, we can swap it with uh, where Evil Plar is right now. Yes, I can. Except then S. Jones is going to die. Oh. That is the only way S. Jones can get over there. Oh, I could swap the the big starfish. If I swap the big starfish with Evil Pla, the big starfish dies to this thing. And Evil Plot can then push this so it misses. Alright, we got there eventually. Uh, and it doesn't really matter if it's left or right, but I think for the sake of Evil Plot's positioning afterwards. Oh wait, if I put it, if I push it this way, I would have damaged this. I could have thought about that before, but I would rather kill the starfish. Is it called a starfish? Yeah, it is. Nice. Not so nice. Nice. Fantastic. Uh, I think I will use the Flood Drill. So we kill this outright. We um, we remove the Spawn Tile here. And then this thing with two movement can only go here to shoot at the uh, Coal Plant next turn. And if it does, we might just Flood Drill it again. We're just going to step out of the way of this guy, probably. Uh, I'll deal one damage to you so that... Nope, never mind. Hmm. We've still got the reset, so I can play around with this a bit. But I 
think we're definitely going to start by doing something like this. And I want to push this guy and deal one damage to him. No! No, that's fine, actually. Okay, cool. Never mind. That's even better, because there's no way this can threaten um, a building next turn. Nice. Easy. Uh, how about a bomb? Can I kill both of these somehow? I don't think so. Right? I could move this guy here so that he'll get dunked into the water. And shoot through him to kill the passive. Oh, and just dunk him into the water directly. I meant to do that. Can we repair? Not that it matters, but... Yes, we can. Oh, oh no. Oh no, no, no. Good thing I repaired, otherwise we wouldn't have finished the battle with less than four mech damage. Rip. S. Jones. I'm sorry. That was dumb. I didn't realize the wind would push it into the cliff. As Jones was a brave warrior who unfortunately died to a brain fart. It wasn't S. Jones's brain fart. Oh no. Well, so much for the two uses of Flood Drill. It's actually pretty hard to find a use for it, a lot of the time. Kill at least seven enemies, that's going to be difficult. There's no water. No water at all. Um, yeah, I think we have to go for the scrapyard at this point. And maybe we do the RST training next. I don't like this, but it's the least bad option. Maybe I should have gone for the easy one, even. Kill seven, and we've got three alphas, and this team sucks for damage. And there's no acid or anything like that. We can't use the pierce because these are two by two. Maybe put something in front of it. Pod incoming. That'll actually block the vec from coming through here. That's shockingly useful. Okay, we have the lightning storms or whatever these are. Yeah, lightning. Uh, that's going to help a lot. We can one-shot things using pushes or the force swap. Literally nothing we can do with the flood drill. What's the ordering? Three, four, two, 
two, three, four, five, and six. No. So who do we swap first? Probably this guy. Except I need to get hacks out of there. If I do that. I could pierce this, but we'll still have this guy aiming at a building. There's no room to use pierce around here. I could do it like this to just kill this outright. Surprisingly. That's probably how we're going to start. And then the swap mech can move somewhere safe. These two only deal one damage. This is going to deal two. Uh, if the starfish in the middle was going before the firefly, I could have it attack and almost kill this and kick up some dust and stop this one from attacking. But unfortunately, that's not quite the case. I could swap this to here so it'll die from the starfish and block this one. That might be the way to go. I don't know what I'm going to do with the bomb afterwards. Probably block a spawn. I don't want to pick up this uh, time pod necessarily because it's blocking enemy movement. Okay. Oh, wait. I can't. I can't actually put this here, can I? Unless I put a bomb there first? But then how's the bomb gonna get over here? I should put a bomb on lightning and swap with it. Or I should just swap these two. But then we would have to take one damage. But then we would be rid of the other alpha starfish. Uh... Hmm. I could put the bomb here just to block the shot. I could put the bomb there, swap this here, and then question mark. That might be the only way to go. Do I want to have the bomb dispenser, uh, the coffin mech somewhere else before I do this? I don't think so. And I think that's basically it. Not so great that we can't take advantage of the lightning, but... Killing an alpha and taking no damage, not so bad. Alright, that's good, kind of. We can ignore this one. We need to... I'll have to move the coffin and we can probably just shoot this. Um... 
Uh, I could even have the coffin tank a shot from this guy. I don't think we're killing seven enemies this game. Well, we're up to three if we look at this one. Could we possibly... I could swap to kill this. And then... Question mark? It would put the Pierce Mech in a much better position. Maybe not, actually. Because it has nothing to pierce through. I could put a bomb, like, here to swap. That doesn't work. This is a pretty tough turn, actually. Alright, I think we go here to block that shot. And allow this uh, Pierce Mech to move here to shoot and kill this. And then we have to... Put a bomb here to swap this so it dies. I think that's it. And then... The only action we have left is deal one damage for no reason. That plus two hit points is not looking so bad right now. Alright, we only need to kill two enemies. And almost everything is an alpha, but we've got two turns. Nothing is on the lightning. Um... I could put a bomb here to swap this so it'll die and block this. That's two actions to deal with two of these. And then... And then this one's a problem. If I push this, I can get Sigma out of the way, and then Evil Plot dies. Mm. All three of the Alpha Fireflies are facing the same direction. So swapping them does nothing, unless I want to swap this guy with this guy, so that one damage is pointed at these mechs. Uh, we can get four damage including the bump, if I shoot through here. Hmm. This is looking really difficult, actually. I could swap this guy onto a lightning tile with bomb and swap. And then we're stuck letting these two have their way with the buildings. Hmm. If I shoot the bomb here, do the swap by standing here. So this guy will still block one damage. This guy is here, and we have a bomb over here. I was hoping to bomb this afterwards, so it will deal the one more damage. Hmm. 
if I put the bomb... No. There's only one... No, there's two tiles where I can... Three tiles where I can put the bombs... That are on lightning. I don't think it really matters which one. Probably. Because the bomb's going to be up here anyway. We can make it block a Vex spawn. We can block this shot with the, in the exchange mech. I come back from breakfast to this message. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I could... No, I can't get an angle. Yes, I can. I can kill this outright. And then... What? I need these two to deal with one enemy. One, two, three tiles. That's killing us. Um... Wait, what's the attack order? Two, three. I could swap this with this. Hello. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We kill this. We swap this Alpha Firefly with the mech. And then we put a bomb in its way. I think that's the play. Uh-oh. Okay, we can still move. It's fine. This is fine. And bomb. To block the shot. It's not great damage, obviously, but it's very versatile. have five Vec to deal with on the last turn. Uh, we still need to kill one to get the bonus as well. That positioning is really bad for us. These two we can ignore, but they're the only ones that would be easy to kill. Um, I can actually... Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I can kill these two? I mean, I would need a bomb to finish off the second one. This would push this guy as well, so that would neutralize these two. We've got it. Okay, let's reset just in case. Undo our moves. And we're going to throw a bomb. Uh, the bomb has to be thrown over here, actually. So... I think I'm just going to move you out of the way. I did not think part of this through. It's going to destroy the... It's going to have to deal one damage to a building, no matter what. No matter which place I put it. Can we do better? This is obviously going to happen. The question is now how we neutralize this. And I think I see the answer. We just shoot this. We already got the time pod, thankfully. Swap this with this. And that's it. And then is there anything else to bother to do? I don't think so. If... Hmm. I can't detonate the bomb in the smoke, I'm pretty sure. If the Alpha Firefly dies, 
on the Vex turn. The XP is going to be spread across everyone. Some of it will go to waste. But I don't think we can give it all to Sigma Beam. Unless... No, there's no way. So that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Well, that was a perfect win. It was tough. And we got a time pod. Gimme gimme. Uh, Camilla Vera is really really good actually. Unaffected by smoke and webbing. Skills skilled. I wonder what this means. Uh, can I like... No. Plus one move and plus two mech hit points? That's huge. Alright, who... Well, I, I think it's pretty obvious who's getting swapped out right now. But who should pilot which mech is the question. I'm thinking... Sigma Bean should probably be in the damage dealer. Uh, and I want Evil Pla in... Actually, does Finisher even work? Does the, the damage boost work with the bombs? I bet it doesn't. So until we get some more damage dealing, uh, direct damage dealing weapons, it's not going to work so well. I think evasion on the mech that has to go right up to things to teleport them is probably a good idea. Normally it'd be sort of a more frontline thing, but our utility mech is kind of a frontline thing. Also the plus movement is very, very helpful to say the least. Okay. I should probably have switched off the flood drill and put the points somewhere else last time. We've got one reactor core. Where is it going to go? Probably here. Do we have any water? We do. No water here. Water here is all in one place. There is what? Sandstorm? I thought it said sandworm for a second there. Kill six or fewer enemies. That sounds potentially difficult depending on the environment and stuff. I do want to go for the uh, defense lab reactor core though. It's going to be tough. So the question is do we take Hurt enemy on swap, it's super consistent, or just one flood drill and the Vec have to oblige us. I, I think, I think we go for the hurt enemy. Oh, does this count? Or the finisher? It's only one turn from Evil Pla, the final turn. I think we'll leave it as is for the moment. Okay. This is going to be a little tough. Just, just a tad bit. Okay, we can ignore that one. We can't 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 ignore that one. Five of them. Uh, we can dunk them. Uh, 
but we'd have to give up an attack to make that happen. I think I want to swap where this bomb is. And I want to kill this. Oh my goodness. This is already looking really, really rough. Uh, you'll get pushed, right? Yeah, this will this will neutralize these two for this turn. I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to deal with this. Swap the bomb. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's try this. Push these two. Uh, swap the starfish for the bomb. Oh, no, you're joking. Hurt enemy is going to hurt the prototype bomb? No. It did not. Okay, thank goodness for that. All right, so... These two are going to kill this. Um, this one's going to hurt our pierce tank. But that's probably fine. This guy's going to miss and... Actually prevent the big one from attacking. That actually kind of sucks. This guy's going to miss. This guy's going to miss after I move you. Um... Question is what I want to do with the bomb. And I think it's probably scratch this guy down to one health. Make water? Make water? No, we've got that. We, we put the power somewhere else. Alright, this could be worse. That smoke is very helpful. Uh, both of the bombs are threatened. That's not great. You're double threatened. You're double threatened. Good. Like, if I swap this with where this bomb is, and then move this out of the way, it's gonna almost die from that. This should be fine. We can ignore this guy. Okay. I think I see the play. You can't fire from smoke, right? Maybe Camilla should be in the frontline mech. But then... Oh. Oh, I am... Not the brightest spark. Um... I always forget that the first target, the target that gets pierced, also gets pushed by the AP cannon. So we're going to have to burn our reset, probably. What's the attack order? Hmm. Oh, that's going to die as well. I guess it doesn't matter. And then there's no way to fix it. 
fix this. So it wouldn't have been that good of a turn anyway. It's actually bad that this would die because it wouldn't block this shot. Also, 1 2 and then 1 2 3 damage, that's a lot. Oh, this goes 6th. Except it won't die just from this. I could put 2 damage, 3 damage. No, I can't swap this with the bomb because the bomb will drop into the water. I could use a bomb to block a shot. should bear that in mind. If I put this guy where the bomb is, he'll die from this and not attack this bomb. This bomb would be safe. This would still be under threat. We don't have a way to kill it with a one damage bomb because of the smoke. If I move this guy here, this bomb will be safe. What then? Probably one, two, three, shoot through there, but then this guy. I could push the bomb here and kill this. That would actually... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's looking good. We swap these two. We let this tank the shot from that. We save the bomb by pushing it here. Kill this with the same shot. Uh, number three shoots number six, who doesn't die and deals three damage to this, and then we throw our little bomb over here to block the final shot. I think that's it. And I think I want you up in the way of everything. Oh, number one is going to kill this first. So it's not going to block a shot. We're just going to take one damage to the grid. I think considering how difficult this turn was, that's not the worst. But what should I do with my one damage? This is already going to die, actually. When did I deal one damage to it? Oh, by swapping it. Oh, that's even better. Calculated. Um, I don't want this to die before it kills this, so I can't just knock down its health by one here. I think... I think we probably scratched this alpha starfish so that we can easily kill it later. And I'll take the one damage to the exchange mech. Okay. Oh, it's not one damage, it's two. I mean, we almost killed it. Yikes. I almost messed up again. These two are wasting their turn. This guy's on one health. This guy's not attacking. 
Fantastic. But what should I actually do? I wish the bombs would explode when they die sometimes, but I guess uh, it would make it harder to use them to block off. I can swap these two and they'll just both die. Get out of here. That's a lot of XPs. And can we just shoot this? No, we can't. So I suppose something like this. And we pull. <gasps> Oh no. I forgot. Again, it pushes both of them. I don't have a reset. Camilla's gonna die. There's nothing I can do about it. The only action I've got left is shoot a bomb. Uh. Well, we're gonna get every possible reward from this difficult level. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Uh -huh. Oh no. And once again, Hax sits in a seat that was recently occupied by the recently deceased. Okay. And we lost movement and... Was it movement and power? No. It was movement and something. Not to mention the can't be webbed, don't care about smoke thing. I think we need to add some power to this mech. What's our next level? How much water do we have? Probably beautiful corner. Do not kill the volatile vec. Protect the bar. We can actually make good use of the pierce mech easily from back here. It's the only... The only one that gives us two rep as well. Kill six or fewer enemies doesn't sound too hard. Then again, doing that while protecting could be. Less than three grid damage, protect the power generator. It's all just open. I think we're going for the beautiful corner. That's unfortunate. Okay, these two can't do anything for a while, at least. Uh, two Alpha Hornets and a regular Hornet. Not so good. And that's terrible. Okay. I can swap. Actually, I could swap you with you and kill the alpha starfish and kill this at the same time. That's a good start. Oh, the smoke prevented it because we dealt one damage to it. That's unfortunate. 
who needs XP the most? Sigma Bean. And also Sigma Bean will get... Uh, the boost from killing something. So let's do that. Plus one damage next turn, not to mention movement speed. Okay, this is excellent. That's less excellent. It's fine, actually. We can just shoot this. No, we can't. Oh, it's only going to pierce one thing. Um, I could move here so that Sigma could move here to sh one-shot this. It would also push... Oh. Oh, it wouldn't. No, it's fine. Um, do I want to swap these guys? I don't think so. We could maybe block these. With a bomb and a mech. You're not going to be able to do anything but repair this turn. How far can you go? Three tiles. So if I just put this here, it has the same effect, since the Hornet can fly past. One, two, three. One, two, three. If I just put a bomb here... This guy's going to be useless next turn. Is that the play? It's probably better than one damage. Probably. Especially since the Pierce mech can deal four. Okay. That's... A little bit annoying. We can smoke both of them. Or we can kill one outright and I think I know what to do here. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's not fine, actually, because you attack diagonally. We'll leave the coffin here. And bomb goes here. Swap. Uh, Sigma beam. With the bomb. Shoot. Oh. Well, that was dumb. It's fine. As long as this isn't attacking next turn, it's probably all I'm really looking for. Can we do better? Is it worth a reset? I think it is, because Sigma's going to be in a better position to make a shot next turn. This here. So we get smoke. And then. Actually, no. Don't do that. Swap these two. Nice. Much better. Now they all explode. can put a bomb here to stop this from attacking because smoke. I can shoot this through here. And that's pretty much all we need, I think. Oh, 
Oh, we've got the uh, finisher on the bomb mech. I want to find out if it can deal two damage. It looks like... no. That's kind of what I was expecting. If I... Can I kill the wall? I don't think so. Because if I swap them and they die, they explode. But... We can't move the... Uh... Oh, we can move the bomb after the swap, right? But you can't work in the smoke, so you go here. Swap that. Explosion. And then the bomb can't quite get back there. Unfortunate. Still, not bad. Do not kill the volatile Vec. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Uh, that was lucky. All right, corporate HQ, let's go. Gastropod. We don't have any water. Nothing but alphas and everything explodes. Perfect. Just... Just what I want to see. I feel good about this. Okay. No. No. And furthermore, no. Um... This is terrible. <laughs> like... Really... <laughs> Really, really bad. I could put a bomb here, swap this here, it's not going to kill that. This is going to die in one hit. Uh, maybe we could do this? I don't... I mean, it'll protect one building. Hmm... No matter where I swap this, we're not getting much use out of it. These two, we'd still get some damage. These two? I'd like to put something in the way of the gastropod leader. Is it immune to fire? I don't think it is. So we can use the fire tiles that it creates. I can shoot it for three. It'll actually die in two hits from the pierce cannon. This guy can survive one attack from the gastropod leader. If I... It actually pulls the mech to it. Hmm. I was hoping I could get it to kill the blast sign. Oh, if it pulls the mech to it, so it'll pull the starfish away, for example. And we could set fire to the, uh, to the spawn tile. 
Can I get it to swap something with itself? No, I can't. That's what the old swapper mech did. We could put a bomb here. Swap this here. And the bomb... One, two, three, not quite. The bomb is going to be hard-pressed to do anything useful after that. Bomb here, swap this. This gets pulled in and... Dealt three damage and fire, and it's effectively dead already. But then we've used two of our three actions, and we've got this and this to worry about immediately. If I stand here... Oh, it's the starfish? Indeed. CK, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, oh, if the bomb goes here, one, two, th or three, yeah, it can block this shot. That's excellent. Okay, so we have... One, two, three. Bomb goes here. We swap these two. I might want to move this guy first. So that we can... Shoot this guy. It's going to be a problem regardless. No, I, I should move here. So we're going to swap these two. Bomb goes here to block the shot. And then... We have to just push this Alpha Hornet out of the way. And our only remaining action is detonate, which we definitely don't want to do. Alright, so that's already dead. And whatever comes up here is on fire. It's only got two health as well, so that helps. We need to kill the... Explodey. The Blast Scion. Um, what? Are, which direction are you attacking? Down here. And that's terrible. What order? Four. Kill this. Two. Three. Four. Five. It doesn't happen. Oh, you're just dead. So as soon as the fire damage kicks in... The corporate tower dies from explosion, unless we kill this straight away. I would love to leave this starfish to just die, but it's pointing at a building. Could swap these two. Wait, but that won't. That's not what we want. Uh, I don't actually have a way to kill this, like, straight away. these two. That's gonna miss. That's gonna die. And then we have two more problems that we can't deal with. Three more problems, actually. Scion, though. And I can't get an angle to shoot it. Unless I, like, put this here, put this here. No. I 
I'd love to push you here. That's not that good, actually. If I swap this somewhere so it just doesn't explode on this guy. That's what I was trying to think of before, though. I'm pretty sure fire damage would go in the order of when things got burnt first. I could put a bomb here, swap the bomb with this, and then detonate the bomb here. And then we still need a way to deal with this. Can't get there. This is actually a really difficult turn. this starfish out of the way and make everything else miss. One, two, three... Probably not. If I swap these two? Oh, I think that would do it, maybe. So this would die to fire damage and explode. Dealing one damage to this. Uh, this guy would attack, and then this guy would attack, killing this. Do I have a way to push this guy? I do, but without dealing damage. It's kind of gross. Actually, one, two, three, four, five. I probably don't even... would save the corporate tower. Hmm. Should I swap the boss with something? Oh, the boss pulls the target in, right? Oh, but it's aiming down and left. If I, if I put a bomb here, swap this here, it'll explode. This, if there was dust here, that would be very useful. Uh, one, two, three, make the bomb explode here. This would explode before the, the turn starts, the enemy turn. Which means this would attack the building. I think this might be the least worst option. And then... Push this. That's going to be dead in a couple of turns. And what do we do with the bomb? Make this die. That's the best we can do. Oh, 
Okay, that's fine. That's very fine. We need four damage on this. We only have three, four, actually. That's probably the way to go. Oh, nope, this is fine. And then let this one kill this. Or even swap them. I can set it on fire and damage it, and that kills them both. This kills the boss monster. Fantastic. And we still have three enemies to deal with. Okay, that's just rude. At least you're gonna miss. Um, if I swap you to here, one, two, three, you're gonna miss, and you're gonna kill this. And then let's murder this for XP. Fantastic. Save the scion with one of your units? Uh, what do you mean the scion? Alright, we got there. Oh, swap the scion. Swap the scion. Well, we got through it anyway. Oh, we got uh, Lily Reed. Three move on the first turn of every mission. That's kind of huge. I don't know what technician is. Is that the self repair? Nano filter mending is pretty huge though, especially for the fact that it doesn't cost any power. We just finished playing the island that has the most smoke, though. Who are we swapping out? Probably Hax. For Lily Reed. Plus three move on the first turn of every mission. On the exchange mech, that would actually be pretty good. Yeah, let's go for Lily. Technician repair one hit points at the start of every turn. He did the swap I mentioned, okay. Alright, how are we spending our rep? Oh, guided missile. Yes, please. Smoldering shells. Damage and apply fire to a tile while adding smoke to adjacent tiles. That looks kind of awkward, to be honest. But we don't have a proper damage uh, thing for the ranged, so we'll probably take that. Science class? Is this science class? It is. Push beam. One power for unlimited use. That's pretty good as well. This is too many things that we want to buy. I think Guided Missile has to happen. Especially now we've got a direct attack with the Pierce Mech. Oh, we don't have the power. This deals two damage anyway. Hmm. Smoke line? Smoke is not good for us since we didn't get that passive. Uh, does this require power? It requires one power. That's a problem. We can get two reactor cores, but only if we don't buy any of this. We're probably skipping out on the push beam. And 
I can only get one reactor core. Which I can get even if I take the push beam. Okay. Push beam goes here. I forgot I could get rid of the flood drill. Oh well. So we're going to power this like so. And probably plus movement for now. And one damage plus fire. Much, much, much better than the little bombs. Not to mention the smoke. It's usually better than the bombs, let's put it that way. So the second so the primaries of all these have become the secondaries. Should be a lot more versatile now. I'll hold on to the flood drills so we can sell next time. And get some weapons potentially. Alright, should we do Let's do this basic island next. Defend the train? No thank you. Take less than three grid damage, protect the coal plant, tidal waves, that sounds super easy. Alright, um... Probably something like this. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Okay. That's super bad, that's not helping. We could push that back. Do we use our one push beam already? I would need to kill this. I could put smoke on it, but... Well, yeah, I could burn this and smoke that. Then this thing's gonna. Do we wanna maybe push beam these two? Does that work? I don't think it does. What if we put you here? That doesn't really work. We've only got two damage on either of these attacks directly. I think we're gonna have to use some smoke here somewhere. Probably Swapper is going to be a big deal. One, two, three. One, two, three. That doesn't help that much at all, actually. One, two, three, four. If I swap these two, we would still have to put smoke on this one, so it doesn't acid all of this. Is there a universe where I should swap with a bomb already? I think we just really are going to have to use smoke somewhere though. Incredibly bad. Almost any one of these are almost going to kill us, like end the run. I could put a bomb here, swap this, but these are going to do their thing. Like, bomb this, swap. This will miss and deal damage to its friends, but then like, hit, 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 hit. We're so dead. Uh, 
push beam. This'll miss and this'll miss. Okay, that's a start. We still have one, two, three attacks that we can't deal with. The only way to push is... Oh, we could push this into irrelevance after we push these two. Okay. And then... We still lose? Only if we don't block this attack. I think I see the path. Push beam. Uh, piercing push. Oh, this is going to be a problem. No, this will just go back here. This is fine. Smoldering has to go here. And we're going to tank the uh, two damage plus acid right there. So we tank zero damage. That's it. And this guy is probably getting dunked in the water soon. So you're just dead. You are wasting your time. You are a problem. You are a problem. And you are going to kill one of my mechs. Unless I swap targets or something. Um... How about... Well, what does this do? Kills this outright, and this one's almost dead. Pushes this away, kills this outright because it's going to die from fire. And then this one will be burning as well. That's probably pretty good. We can... We can... Hmm... These two are an issue. I can't push them again because we didn't have the unlimited uses. We need to do something clever with teleport. But we'll probably start by pushing these two. Or even... No, we have to push them. If I smoke these two and flame this one, and then we swap this one, then... It's going to die after we swap it from the one damage. Oh, that's not on fire. Okay. Smoke and fire. And then... Where should I swap you to? I don't want to swap it here. I want that one to die. I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't want to put it into the smoke because it'll stop being on fire. I think that's how that works. So we're never killing this one. Probably here, so that this guy is now almost dead. That's pretty good. Alright, you're gonna waste your turn again. Uh, we got finisher from this one. Two whole damage. 
It is going to make the difference, though. She should get the XP. Probably the piercing neck. Nice. And then we just step out of the way. I don't think there's a way to kill this. Fantastic. That was looking horrendous at first. But we got through it perfectly. Adrenaline. Plus one move per Vec killed in a battle. Wow. Okay, Sigma. You absolute monster. Plus one damage and plus two movement next turn if you get a kill. Plus one move per Vec killed in battle. Jeez. So you're just going to fly around the map. One-shotting everything. If we can give you enough damage. I don't think we're going to change anything right now. Maybe I should swap the one move for the unlimited use of the push beam, but then we wouldn't have been able to get in position to use it. I think this will have to do for now. Where are we going next? End with eight spaces on fire. Uh, we do have... We can set one tile on fire at a time. Without having to destroy trees or anything. Hmm. Fire and swapping helped us a lot last time. And I really want that reward to try and get ahead. I think we have to go for this. It does scare me, though. Six alphas. Sure, why not? Let's try and block them a little bit. Pod incoming? That's extremely helpful. They can't move through that. Okay. I can't step out of the way because this will go kill that in the end. Um... Not attacking? Okay. I could burn, smoke, smoke these three. And then we've got one, two, three to deal with. That's not great. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four would still hit this. I could swap these two if I can get there. So you'll hit the pod, actually. That's terrible. I could try picking up the pod with a bomb, perhaps. Put a bomb here, pick up the pod, make it move here and blow some stuff up afterwards. Or block this. Yes. Okay, I like where this is going. Bomb here to pick up the pod. Block this shot. Swap these two. This one now hits these two. This one's not attacking. Uh, we can... Put that down to two health to begin with. Never mind the flames. And this one is going to destroy 
the robotics lab. Hmm, push beam? Dunk this one. This one misses, attacks its friend. And then we have two health on this. But we have to stop this one and this one as well. Difficult to argue with this opener, though. I could burn this, or rather, burn this and smoke this. If I could get the angle for it, which I can't. Hmm. Push all of these. That one's gone. This one's still not attacking. Swap. Not these two, that's for sure. Oh, I can't swap if I push. Pierce those two. Maybe we have to take some damage. I could tank this just once. So push, tank, uh, that'll kill that and leave this one on four health. And we need to stop this one somehow, which isn't happening. So we'd lose two grid. Unless... Kill that, push that, this misses and hits this guy. Push that. Uh, it would be perfect if not for the attack order of the enemies. Except for the part where this guy kills... No, this guy's dead. He's in the water. Oh, we've got something more we can do with the bomb. Okay, so push these two. You're dead. You're over here, aiming at this tile. Push all of these. You're dead. You're not attacking. You're attacking this tile. Uh, three comes before four, so if we can deal two damage to this, which we can't. Two damage. Gotta love the music, though. I could... smoke this? Could I not? I don't have to block this, so the bomb can go anywhere. Alright, I think that's it. Let's have a look. And push. And you're actually dead. So all I have to do is smoke you. It would be great if I could get one of these tiles so that I could flame this and smoke this, but then you wouldn't attack anyway. So I guess it doesn't make a difference. Um, I would love to... Actually, I don't want to pick up the time pod, I don't think. Uh, no, I need the smoke on this, not the... Not the fire. And that's it. I love it when a plan comes together. Alright, you can be ignored, at least for now. In fact, I should ignore you because you're going to block a Vex spawn for me. If I push this one tile over, it's still going to hit the building. 
Uh, I think I should flame this and smoke this instead. That gets us up to four tiles on fire. On the other hand, I could set that one on fire, hurt this guy, prevent this guy from attacking, all in one go. And then, who are we swapping? I want to set a tile on fire. If I set you on fire, you're never going to get an attack off again that's going to hit something. Set this on fire. And then swap these two. Or is that going to smoke this one so it's no longer on fire? I think it might do that. Progress is going well for setting things on fire. Um, oh, it did one damage as well, so he's already dead, actually. So, can I... I have to check, even if it costs a reset. He, oh, he died from the one damage. Of course. Now we just have to... Okay, the downside of this is we have to spend a turn repairing uh, for this guy. The exchange mech. So that might not be worth it. Victory in three turns. We're going to have one, two new enemies. This guy is going to be on three health. And on fire, so a missile would finish them. I feel like it's bad-ish either way. Oh, the self-repair! Oh, that's so good. We can run around setting things on fire. I forgot about the self-repair, that's excellent. We only need to get two more tiles on fire, but still. I think if we just... Oh, we got smoke here. Never mind. <laughs> Cancel everything. Alright, how about... Not quite. Hmm, I need... Like, one damage on each of these. Not even that. But I don't want to put smoke there. You can be ignored again. And you're going to set something on fire for us. Thank you kindly for that. What is this scion? Protected from fire and leave fire on death? Huh. Huh. Well, I appreciate them leaving fire on death. Not so much the protected from fire part. If I do this, you will miss. And you'll be on fire. And it doesn't really matter that you're in smoke and lose your fire because you're protected from fire right now. And then we've got two turns, so I could just set you on fire and you'll be dealt with? Or does it benefit from its own passive? I don't believe it does. That won't be setting a tile on fire though, because that's water. We could swap someone. If I swap this? No.
Will this tile be on fire? No. If we swap them, that is. We need the direct damage from the Pierce mech. And then... Swap them? I can't do it from here, right? Oh, if I step into the flames... No, it's fine. Okay. And then we kill this and this will die. And to do that, we're just gonna set you on fire. Wait, how did it... Oh, one damage and then fire. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so you're already dead. You're not helping. You can be ignored. You're not helping. Okay. Uh, I need to set a tile on fire. I think we can do that and stop this guy pretty easily. Oh, this is two damage plus fire. Nice. Even better. That's our eight tiles. And you're gonna die, you're gonna die. Uh, the only question is how we deal with this one, and honestly, it really doesn't matter. Anything that works. However, we could kill even more back. Fantastic. I'm really glad I took this mission. That was tough, but we got through it perfectly. Big rewards. Huge rewards. And we got Harold Schmidt. Push adjacent tiles while repairing. That's pretty big, actually, especially for, like, a science mech. Uh, skilled as well. I think we're going to swap out Lily Reed. Technician is so good, though. They're all good. Alright, Harold, get in there. Frenzied repair, push things away when you repair. Skilled, plus one move, plus two hit points. That's freaking fantastic. I'm gonna swap out the bonus move here for unlimited use of the push beam. So we have two ways to push and we have one way to damage and swap. Much more versatile. And then we want more smoke, I don't think so. Plus two damage we can't quite afford. I really want the plus two damage. Three damage plus fire, that is amazing actually. I also badly want more damage here, but that's kind of expensive. Uh, not really. I could swap the bonus move for plus one damage on the AP cannon. But then I really want to save up for this max damage smoldering shells. So... We're going to do that. Okay. We can already afford... Uh... Well, we have to get to the cell part first. But we can easily get another few pause. 
I don't really want to defend the train, though. Uh, with the smoke, it shouldn't be as hard. But we're, like, already sacrificing one rep if we go here. But then gaining a hit point isn't bad either. That map sucks, though. I don't think this is going to be helpful for us. I think the train is actually the less bad option. Are we still going to have a mission after this, though? I think we will. Uh, it's bad either way. We'll have more options if there's another mission after this one. We've done one, two... Surely we have another mission after the third one. Okay. So... The only thing I know I don't want to do is have the ranged too close, but I might want to have it shoot from here. One, two, three, four. Wow, five movement, that's huge. One, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, let's just put it here. And science mech here. Oh, we have to knock mites off as well. Another pod? Is that just how it is on the hard difficulty? Alright, what do we got? This one's gonna miss. This one's a big problem. This one's a little problem. And this one's a huge problem because... Uh... Bonus objectives. Do I want to push, swap, push... Both these do the same damage. This guy's gonna miss. I could set the uh, spawn tile on fire while blocking this guy with smoke. I could block both of these with smoke, set that tile on fire, which isn't great to be honest. Actually, now that I look at it, The Alpha Bouncer would have nothing to do next turn as well if I set this towel, if I put smoke here, because it can't go to where the time pod is, and it has three movement. Melee would have no way of attacking the power generator. I think that's probably something we'll do. And it also stops you from attacking. And then... And then what? Once they're in smoke, they cancel their attack. But if you swap them out of it, they won't attack either. So I could... Swap the positions of a couple of them after I do the smoke. I'd really like to set some of them on fire, though. We could push them with this. Smoke, fire, smoke. Push this here. And then we've only got one to deal with. But it's not in a very good spot. We could swap. We could swap the one that's on fire. And this will miss. I think that's the play. Oh, but will it miss? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this goes here. And then... Shoot this here. I guess I could also... Wait, no. If I use the piercer, it won't damage this one. I'm not really interested in killing this bouncer that much because it seems like it's never going to get to attack and then that's a problem I don't really want to pick up the time pod because I want this spot to be un inaccessible to the enemy but I think it's more important that we do swap these two 
in fact, yeah, you're already dead because you'll take fire damage twice before you get to attack. You will take fire damage twice before you... Oh. Well, it's going to knock the mites off. It's fine. Calculated. I meant to do that. This is fine, actually. Oh, and you're already dead. I even forgot about this one. That is so much better than I could have even hoped for. Alright, so what's next? You're already dead. You're already dead. They're immune to fire. How dare you. I might just have to kill this outright. We could use the pierce mech to push this one out of the way and kill this immediately. And then... We can ignore you. Actually, I'm glad I got rid of the uh, time pod because this would be bumping onto it, I think. Let's say I do this. I could swap these two. Or these two. That's gonna kill this. Uh, I think we'll... I think we'll start with this regardless. Uh, if this got to attack it would be kind of good, but never mind. And we can step out of the way of this guy. We gotta stop this guy. Hmm. I would really like to set them on fire, but... Well, we can do that. We just have to... No, if I swap these two, this is going to hit this, and that's going to be terrible. If I swap these two... That might be the way to go. And once again, you're unable to... Oh, you're dead. Never mind. That works as well. I need to repair or damage both of these mechs in two turns. Hmm. I didn't really leave myself in a good spot to damage this guy. So we'll damage this one instead. That's going to put smoke on here, which will put the fire out, though. I could bomb these two for one damage. Is it really coming down to that one damage? Could I not find a way to remove the mites? Damage, fire, acid, freezing, or repairing. So I have them step on a fire tile if I can. I was thinking briefly about setting this tile on fire, but I think that's a bit much. Especially without the self-repair. Maybe it's worth setting that on fire even if this is still alive with one hit point. Probably. Probably. 
Probably. There's no new vet coming up, so that helps a lot. If this guy wastes his turn, he's effectively dead. He's not wasting his turn. Uh, these two are going to attack each other, so... And in the order that we want to see. So I might just leave them to it. We'll push this guy onto this tile. So that he blocks whatever's coming up. We'll also get ourselves on fire, get rid of the mites, block what's coming up. And I think I'll use a bomb to block this one. I don't want to swap these two, they'll both miss. I could set this one on fire. I think that's probably the way to go. Definitely. And then... Block this. I don't know if the one damage from blocking the Vec gets rid of the Mites. Let's find out. We can't repair because... Smoke. Oh. Well, that's fine too. It does get rid of the Mites. Fantastic. Alright then. Have a little swappy swap. Repair, repair, and... Did that just repair two hit points? I guess it did. Nice. What do we have now? Another core? Thick skin. Oh, that's just immune to acid. And fire. Okay, fire kind of helps, especially when we're using it. We have one more reactor core. And that's it. Free damage plus fire from the smoldering shells. That's huge. Alright then. Let's finish this island and then I think we'll finish the stream for today. Time kind of flew to, uh, today, to be honest. Let's see. Uh, I think that's everything set the way I want it for now. So, the ranged mech is now our primary, primary damage dealer. Effectively four damage in one hit. What are we going for? Defend the tanks? Emergency batteries are in a pretty safe spot. How greedy do I want to be? We've been pretty lucky. It's really just one more power if I do this. If everything goes well. I don't want to overdo it. Let's go for the easier mission. Destroy the dam. And... We'll give the Vec an opportunity to put themselves in front of the dam. Hopefully. That's kind of nasty. We can push both of them back or forward one, but that doesn't really help. This is bad. This is bad. Okay. Okay. They're all immune to fire as well, but hey, we deal three damage with this directly anyway. I can smoke both of those. Put myself here to block the shot. Or evil pla rather. We can kill this outright, to start with. And then the only one that's still useful is back here. 
So we'll maybe just swap them. One, two, three, four, five. Four and five. One, two, three, four. It's going to hit this one. What about here? Oh, that's even better. We don't need to block this shot. Swappy swap. Now you're on fire as well. It almost makes me not want to kill this because you're going to deal more damage to your friends. Oh. Huh. Luckily the attack order is in our favor. We're going to keep them immune to fire for the moment. And... I could do it like this as well. What's better? They're all going to die if I do it. Both of these two are going to die real soon if I do it like this. We'll have fewer actions from the enemy to deal with. Fantastic. Oh. Oh no. That's... That was suboptimal. just lost evil pla because I miscalculated again and we have no mech for the next two turns that's pretty good to start with but then how do we deal with this I can't do a zigzag I can kill this in one, but then... Uh, push? That's not that good. I can swap... I can swap with uh, this mech, actually. All right. Kill at least seven enemies, I think we'll make it. You're already gonna kill yourself. That's it. Rip. Do I even have a pilot? I do. The self repair one. <laughs> Okay, let's finish this island for today. Probably gonna start you here and here. Oh, that's, that's terrible. Probably want to swap it. Blob leader. 
Alright, this is terrible, this is terrible, this is fine, this is terrible. What are we going to do about it? That's not going to help. I could swap these two? No, that's not good. If I swap these two... That one is going to get rid of our bomb friend. And then is going to be set on fire, actually. That's a good start. And then... We can actually kill this outright. And block both of those spawns. Okay, that's incredible. Well, not block this spawn because we're going to kill this, but it'll be on fire when it comes up. That's a really good start. It's also going to take damage from blocking, so it'll get one more attack at most. Unless the Vec get exactly the passive they need to not take fire damage. I think we can deal with this, though. Just like so. We can ignore this guy for now. And... Probably set you on fire and then swap you. Oh, I didn't even see that. Uh, that's a problem. That, that's a pretty big problem, actually. Hmm. Oh, I think I see the play. then so this is taken care of these are eventually taken care of and this is taken care of it did prevent fire damage on this guy because of the ordering but he's only going to get one more attack so we just have to kill that instead could swap these two. That's not enough. I could... I can't get there. I was going to say I could kill this outright. I can ignore this guy. Ignore this. Shoot through this. realize I messed up. Yeah, I don't have a way to deal with this with one action. Unless I swap it over there, actually. That's probably fine. Nice. So you're already dead. You are very much not already dead. You're irrelevant. You are way too relevant for my tastes. But I could block your shot if I want to. I could deal three to this. I could swap these two and then just... no. I could swap those two? 
Hold those two. That's pretty easy, actually. I'm not going to kill them, so it doesn't matter what else I do. twice if it does not move. I don't remember what Adrenaline does. Do we have it? Plus one move per Vec killed in battle. That's kind of huge as well. Doesn't exactly synergize though. What is this? Spring-loaded legs. Leap and attack a tile dealing damage and pushing it. So it's a much more specific version of the leap attack. A lot more versatile, but less powerful than the one that explodes everywhere. Up to four damage. That's good. We need... The thing about Silica, the robotic uh, special pilots, is you need to power them to get their special. Requires two power. I can't really spare that. If we had... Oh my goodness. Can you imagine having the Pierce mech fire twice? With guided missiles and AP cannons? But where are we going to get the power from? Uh, probably by paying for it right now. I could put Sigma on the ranged mech. So we get the adrenaline and the field research boost on kill. That's much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're doing this. All right. Let's see. Silica goes here. Sigma goes here. And do we still want... Oh, that's right, you're immune to fire. Uh, I think we want to keep Schmidt in here in case we want the Frenzied Repair. And we go for... Heal on Kill? Wow. That's for everyone, but it costs two power. Fissure Fist. Uh, cracking tiles behind the target? So presumably if you do that twice, the tile will no longer be there? Wow. What do we got here? Refractor laser. What the hell? A laser that can bend, dealing more damage to nearby tiles. It can be ally immune, damage 1 to 3. Is it random? Or is it like... I don't think it's going to be random. No. It starts, it starts at 3, then it's 2, then it's 1. And we could do plus 2 damage. That's huge as well. What? I didn't mean to click that. I hope it was good. What do we got? Science class weapon, flaming artillery that drops fire on the target, on the, on the way to its target. Okay, thankfully that's ridiculously good. Um, it doesn't deal any damage directly, it just sets things on target, but not on fire, but still. And it pushes at the last tile, that's huge as well. I think we're going to take at least two reactor cores and double shot. And then we're going to pump even more damage into this if we can. Uh, sell these three. Uh, 
I need one more power to get double free damage guided missile. But we can't sell anything right now. I'd have to do it at the next island. Anyway, I think that's going to be the stream for today. Let's, uh... I don't suppose anyone else is streaming into the breach, right? Let's find out. If not, we'll just jump to someone familiar. Is it literally just me? It is literally just me. Uh this game deserves better. How about Tumbling Satellite today? Or maybe... I think we raided Jess Check a few times recently. Let's go for Tumbling. Oops, I need to... Copy paste that carefully. There we go. Unrecognized command slash R I A D. Whoops. Sounds good. Fantastic. Take care, Evil Pla. Thanks for hanging out. Sorry about your death from my incompetence. I'm sure there'll be many more. Maybe off stream though. It's fun to do something different, but maybe not consistently for ITB. All right, away we go. I'll be back. Look, I'll also must do some work, have a good stream.